Why well, I didn't click live? I was already talking to the bros in chat. My bad. I said, brace my man, you're first and you're always there. I appreciate you, my brother, and I hope you are doing amazing. And same for everybody else. Mr. Clevin, Brefa, Sanokra, Pimamba, Gloop, Rising Rosie, Zakalagalaga, Masturbate. Let's go, bros. How are we doing on this fine Monday? Shadow Ranger, Kiara Namanore, Sides, Pika, Stormcrow, Yesto, Snoopcott, Rafix, Paco Yu. Stop calling me a pizza man, you pig! Azerlo, where's where's Dark Blitz? There he is! Ah, oh, there he is! Every time it's Paco Yu and Dark Blitz, I always wait for them. The homies! One calls me a pizza man, one calls me fat. Both your moms are lovely women. Good to see you, bros, though. Yes, this is the first match on the Shen account. Welcome, welcome. It's too many people now. Hey, but I appreciate it. I am very happy to see all of you. I hope you're all doing amazing. And uh, let's uncover the power of Le Shen. Bro, I'm a piggy, not a pig. Puck, you're a pig. E. And a homie. And a homie. We started gold, Elo. I'm the name to masters. Go to masters. Education. Fundamentals. Let's go. Yo, Capro Yedos. Gemini and Androxis. First time chatters. Welcome, welcome. Expeto coaching. When I've sent him a message. A Petu is an absolutely amazing creator. You know, Petu helped me out a lot once I started um, streaming. He actually raided and like uh, gave me a lot of shout outs. So Petu helped me out a lot when I just started making content. I yes, we'll probably get coaching by Petu. Or maybe Shending, or maybe both. I gotta switch my settings. I haven't fixed my settings. I have the weird... But this guy's name is Your Mom. Damn, that guy's humor must be good. Yo, Miyaki Day. So thank you so much. I hope you and Sparky are doing amazing. And I wish you an amazing week. Yo, Tway. Yo, Beaver. Please don't cut your beard. You're looking spicy. <laughs> thank you. I trim it. Well, I don't trim it. My... My amazing barber trims it every three weeks. Psychonics, welcome, bro. If you follow, welcome. I like when you play Darius. I'll play. I, I gotta play a little bit more Darius, but I'm probably gonna do it off stream. Yo, the underscore va. That's a voice crack. Violence. Okay, I'm gonna do my settings because I haven't done them. So I'll show you. I reset this. Then I go to abilities and summoners. I select this to mouse 5, I go to game, oh wait, I did, did I save it? Okay, then we go to game, treat target charms only, video, this all seems fine. Yeah, I go interface, or game what here again, this is 245, this is 245. Could you explain Standard why it's easier me. to climb playing only one champion? Even one. If you focus on fundamentals, then it's well, Give me a second. I, I respond to you in a second. Right? I just gotta do my settings so also, if that I don't feel like a pig. Trick, then this 28, this 28, this goes 28. I start to improve. This goes 28. And then we enable the legacy cursor. Thank you for the one. I'm gonna respond to you in a second. And most of the game is good now. I need to do percent offset. That has been set up as well. Sounds. We can do mass volume a little bit louder, but we remove music. Announcer goes all the way. Well, she can be here. Voice is fine. Uh, I think I have pretty much all the settings that I have now. These settings, I mean, they can just be 50. There we go. Thank you so much for the one. Could you explain why it's easy to climb playing only one champion? If you focus on fundamentals, then it shouldn't matter what champion you play, right? Also, if you decide to one trick, then how many games do you think you'll need to... Let you one. Now, I'll explain you why one tricking is the best. Because before fundamentals, you need to know how to play your champions, how to trade, what items to buy, what runes to go, and you need to know your matchup. On every champion, matchup knowledge is most vital. If you don't have matchup knowledge, how are you going to apply fundamentals if you can't even lane, or can't trade, or don't know how to item? Can I win this? Nah. Final mid! Yeah, you instructed me! Ah, Tura! My fault, though. And the way he's pushing into me. Who is this man? He he knows to leave the wave here. The wave is pushing into him. No, he doesn't know. Okay, well, my bad. We start off. With that. We start off. We stop. St start off wrong. We start off wrong. We start off wrong. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay, by the way. Tura! No, all the way if you're out of the turret range. Alright. But yes, the reason I recommend one tricking is because it's gonna make the process towards your fundamentals way easier. He's close to level 3. I only get XP from Castle, so it's not that much XP, unfortunately. There's his level 3. And he died. <laughs> I took a turret shot on accident. Uh, the problem is, though, is I still need to set up my own reset here. So we're not out of the woodwork yet. Okay, we're not out of the woodwork yet. We have to hard push this knife. I want this cannon to die, though. Very good. Yeah, keep laughing, chat. This guy's no flash. So I'm actually gonna slow push this, and I I hope my jungler is gonna get me here. I really need him. The gaming mob needs his jungler. I'm communicating, I can mean that he has no flesh as well. I'm spamming because I need my jungler on this bounce. Dar is gonna walk up his double long sword. Drag my blade through him. He ease me. I have four stacks, so I just kite. There we go, baby. And now I ping him to push the wave with me. I level up so I don't die to the bleed. Definitely. <laughs> Tabis. Jarvan, Darius, Tabis. The wave crashes. We're out of the woodworks. I'm happy with that. Key wait, They were to tier 1, they were to 3 months. If Darius was a one trick, he would not have died there. There you go. I, I don't have a video on Vladimir. It's Bam Bam, I'm sorry. And you said, Tom, get to me earlier. You said, suck my nuts. Um, no, but one thing, chat. To, to end the conversation about being a one trick, ultimately, the more knowledge you have on a champion, the easier it becomes to applying the fundamentals. So... Tura, I hope I, I answered your message with that one. Yo, thank you, the underscore violence. I appreciate that, bro. No flash, no ghost. Alright. You remember, chat, when you drag your blade through your opponent, you get extra damage. So, this is good. And he's dead here. The wave is pushing towards me as well. So, the door is, is in a lot of trouble here. And we don't push, we don't push, we don't push. Because this wave is pushing into me, I knew that consciously before the gank. Now, I can also reset, I will reset. And this is an extremely important reset to understand here, chat. So I'm gonna kill this cannon and I'm gonna reset. Now, Alois, why are resetting? Well, let me explain, okay? So as you guys can see right now, this wave is pushing to me, right? But what happens after this wave has crashed into my turret? It's gonna bounce back into the Darius. Can I play the bounce on this HP right now? Nah, what do we do? We recall. There we go. Does that make sense, chat? You want to recall when general sense, general rule. You want to recall when the wave is pushing towards you, not when the wave is pushing away from you. So right now it's pushing into me, but again afterwards it will push away into the Darius. So it's better for me to reset right now. Sadly, it does crash it because he bought boots. Yeah, but yeah, uh, that's, that's why we go recall here. Let's go. Go for the cannon under my turret, please. I won't eat you. Who's level 5? Money, go for the money. Cannon. I've been um, getting coached, but I've only gotten about five sessions with him since I set up with him in January. He seems to always be busy and doesn't uh, respond on the Discord. The announcer is so soft really that I can't sure hear it. I'm going to read it in a second after not missing a single last to do. Give me a second. I'll read that in a second. Leave it a one. All right, I can slow push here. Uh, I've been getting coached, but I've been getting over with him well, if, if, if somebody's not... Did you pay for the coaching already, Key? Yeah. If you've already paid, you need to either get a refund, communicate that with him that you would want a refund, or you try to set up a schedule the sessions. That would be the best way to conduct the business for both of you. Pyro app, I got the cannon. Why is the first time Ch Chatter saying minus one when I've gotten the cannon? Is your mother a pig? Kidding, bro. Level 6 here. I, I didn't block the auto W, so he got the stacks. Passive shoot for the bleed. Alright, he's half HP now, so he's in my lethal range with Ignite. Tread carefully. You missed melee, minus 1. Alright, type minus 1 one more time, see what happens. Alright, there's no Q. I'm gonna Q, auto, auto, 
Also, then I'm gonna E through him, get three more Qs, and suck his... Okay, got him, bros. And he flesh goes it. So first we Q, we get three stacks, then I start the combat to use the stacks and get new ones and kill him. Alright, there's more new first time chatters typing, minus one. Mods, do your job! Mods! There's a lot of piggies in the chat right now, we gotta, we gotta purge them. Minus one! I got the cannon! And, in fact, I got plus one. I killed the Doris. So shut up. And we get the crash. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, man. Why are you flashing light? Wouldn't Ignite have killed him? Oh, Rising Rosie, you are actually maybe right. Hello, guys, but I do it just for safety measures. Alright, let's go and go. Suck his what? Uh, I won't say. Thank you for the Prime. Thank you, Curious Elk, for converting your Prime to a tier 1 sub. Killed Dario, Dariel even. Dariel. It's Darius, bro. No flash top. I've got ult. I could not ult here because this wave is under my turret. I don't want to ult when the wave is pushing away from me, right? Or like under my turret, like that. Okay, we have three stacks. Zero stacks now. How long does the Q stack land? So if I Q, you see it takes very long. And my Q cooldown will be back whilst I still have stacks. So I can kind of get six Qs procs in a singular trade. So I have three Q stacks. I think that jungler is here, so I'm a little bit scared. He's walking up. That scares me as well. He has no potions. I have two refillable potions, right? Well, one refillable potion with two charges. Before chat says like, Now it's to be where you have one. Uh, Emacs second, I think. Ugh. Are we in trouble? Or are we chilling? Are we human? Or... Okay, uh, it was good. A good trade. Level 8. I missed the E, but it was a good trade. And that's also because I have two potions and he has none. Uh, the, the, the Tiamat is poking him. I can just one-shot him. I think I win this too. My passive shoot is coming back. Unless it's ult. Okay, buff Jarvan. And buff jungle. And buff... Well, Jarvan should push the wave here though, because the wa Jar please don't do it. I didn't mean it. Oh, why does this gold jungler have fundamentals? Why does he know wave... This guy knows wave states better than my grandmaster junglers do. What a pig. Well played, though. With well played, though. I'm gonna go for the Titanic Hydra. Yes, you can cute Leo Shen. Okay, I've been getting... Uh, okay, uh, Elk, uh, or Key. Thank you for the one again. I hope I got it. All right. Um, I'm rushing this. I'm not even sure if it's good. I'm pretty sure a lot of Shen players also rush this. I have my ult. I haven't really looked for ults. Uh, well, I have my ults. Two stacks for me was absolutely nece necessary there. Uh, I just get two ingenious hunter stacks, I'll take it. The wave is lost here, but it's okay. Two ingenious hunter stacks. Basically, I'm a genius. That's what happened there. No problem, bot lane. That's all me. My jungle dying to groups, not my issue. I do lose a full wave, it happens, but the thing here is, right? And this is a very important distinction to make. Who's the carry in this game? Besides me. It's my Draven, right? Look, the Doris is 1 and 5. Do I care if the Doris gets a little bit of resources when he's already 1 and 5? Not really, because he's not their win condition. Ganon kills uh, 2 kills on my Draven and killing their Volt here is way better, so that's good. Right, this guy's no flesh yet. 30 seconds. Oh, I mistimed my W. Am I dead now? Probably. Close. I missed time my W extremely hard. Chat, do we flip it? Watch this flashy, watch this flashy. It's coming, it's coming. Are you guys ready? Be ready. Prepare yourself, brace yourselves. We're about to land. 
We're about to land, chat. We're about to land. I am ready. I'm getting ready. I'm preparing it. Bomba! Told you. No fear. Conference. Brace ourselves. I see what you did there, Mr. King Top. What do you guys say? Oh, no. Are you guys not ready for these mechanics? Come on. Alright. We got Titanic. Time to recall. Holy moly. What's guys you're doing to them? Nothing. Inting. Okay. Masty, please win. That's is not good. That's is not good. We're going for this item next. Because we already have three Ingenious Hunters, we need to mid in the jungle, add full Ingenious Hunter stacks. So normally this has a 10 second cooldown, right? When you read here, you see active 10 second cooldown. Well, they're lying. The cooldown's gonna be lower, watch, I'll show you. Because I have three Ingenious Hunter stacks. Look, if I... Auto Titanic. Eight seconds. Ingenious Hunter. Why is this top player doing jump caps as Shen? It's because it's in my blood. All right, let's go. We're still traumatized from the Aurelia incident. Um, I don't know what you're referring to. Ignorance is bliss. And your mom is a lovely woman. All right. Um. Well, let's focus here. Who's the win condition? It's gotta be Drake. Uh, maybe Mastery. Ultimately, the game's looking a little bit tricky. Um. Oh, pfft, that wave player. Ultimate in five. I'm gonna have to communicate that to my team. I am down to take a skirmish. This guy's a fetch out time, which I would love to collect. I think Ignite is important on Shen. I'm gonna play Ignite on Shen almost every game. So I actually get kill pressure. I think without Ignite, this champion is a lot less pressure and presence. I think Ignite is very vital. I kinda ruined my lane though by dying level one, but we got back. Okay, he used both sums. RTP here. It was unlucky time. Oh. There's an Oriana. Oh. Are you kidding me? Ingenious? I'm coming back for you in a second. I'm coming back for you in a second. Almost. Bro, I killed Oriana when you wanted to do! I had to choose. 1 HP, yeah. Yeah. I know he had 1 HP. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry. The 1v3 there with my E uh, out of the Oriana ult into all three of them, taunting them into the castle ult was R, though. Watch this. Nice. Alright, as we go. I can't push turrets, unfortunately, because of my champion. QW the Casio. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, but why didn't you tell me earlier? Right? We have four ingenious decks now. So, let's see if we can continue that. What do I have for this? Mm. He did use both sums, by the way. I didn't ping it. Well, whatever. Did I ping it? No. I... My E range is shorter than I'm kind of like envisioning it at the moment. I don't think I straight up beat him because of his passive. And I'm scared of a Jarvan gank. Jarvan is the last ingenious tech we need. I'm flashing 40 that I can play more aggressive. I also have a massive shot that I have to consider here. Voice. Okay, G is top side. That guy got destroyed. Destruction. Destrakunost. Get him, baby. Why do I call him baby? Watch this, watch this. 
Watch him walk to the wave and I Titanic high drive him. That doesn't work. But I should give it to Master Yi. And he can take this gold as well. I'm gonna be more of a team player with the champion, right? Because I can't fool 1v9 games, I think. But we're gonna learn. I have not played too many champion games in my life. And if I've played the champion before, it was a supportive type of playstyle. But we're gonna learn to be a carry. So now we have this. What do I go next? Unending despair, I feel like. I'm just trying, by the way. This first game, I'm just trying. I'm just going off what I know about the champion at the moment currently. We need the stack on Yarvin, which is also a shutdown. So, ooh. Ah. Ah. I thought he got ulted. I'm pinging to go in as well. Okay, we got a Plumber Dragon. That's is not good though. We should play for the dragon. We lose top turret already. Guaranteed. Tread carefully. Okay. Yo Yamat. Why would I play high elo? In this season, when it's bad content, when it's not really possible to do educational content in high elo, and I laid against Vayne, Twisted Fate, Karma, Kisante for 80% of my games. I don't know. I will go to Korea later uh, this year, and then I will full try out high elo. But for now, I, I, I honestly much prefer doing content like this myself, and I think it's way better content in general, personally. Riven is okay. I don't think she's that strong. Not in current meta. She gets destroyed by a range top laner. Okay, well, that was just awkward. I can't one shot her because I lo lost the E. But I can E flash her here. Okay, nice. You can get a buffer the E flash, right? But I shouldn't really look too much on side lane because my I kind of need to set up my team to carry. I'm not the champion that wants to side lane. I look for solo kills on side lane. Oh, what? Sorry. Okay, let's look here. There's a fat shot on two. Could be massive. Go Eclipse? Is that good? Okay, got a flash at least. Wait, my E got cancelled by that. But I still taunted them. Not sure how that worked. This is my last stack that I need. And I get the shutdown. Okay, massive. We can even play Baron now. That was exactly the team fight we needed. I got my last stack now. I just need Massey to come here. And trust me. He has two items. 200 items. Well, we planned something around late summer, Korea. Yeah, I'm down. I, I, I've decided to not go to Brazil. Because I think it's too much effort and not worth it. But I definitely want to go to Korea and go for rank 1 then. So, we've planned something around late summer, Korea. Who is we, by the way? I mean, I'll send you a DM after the stream, you bit. I hope you have an amazing day, boss man. And uh, well done on your Kiara grind. I was watching your stream a little bit yesterday. But you were playing Caster then. I guess your Kiara got bent. But uh, looking good, boss. I hope you're doing amazing. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna get the end ending this spare, then I'll go Eclipse. Okay. Come to Brazil, or Brazil will come to you. What does that even mean? Huh? What does that even mean? This year is 2029. Lois is fresh off his 8th unranked to master on the 8th. At least 10 by that point. Why would I give you farm? I'm a shem. Me, Drutut, maybe Dantes. Alright, sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Alright, chat. Um, well, this guy's no flesh. We have all ingenious stacks. Next item, I was gonna go for Spirit Visage, but I can also try to look for the Eclipse. Oh. What's up, Dream Man? You look like you're stuck with me. Nice. We can keep pushing here together. I can always alter mid lane so I can pressure both sides at once. We're playing in E West. This guy's no flesh. I'm gonna prioritize him so he can't jump on my Cassio. And I can always alter Cassio. 
And we're just strong enough with each other. And I always have ult. Yes, you can still stream in Korea. Just Korean viewers can't watch, I think. But you can still stream in Korea from a different server. You basically stream from the Frankfurt server. Okay. Uh, we need next wave all less. I need to ult here. He flashed. You should have baited. I'm looking. I'm going to ping that I'm looking. He can bait. Ah, that was a good flash by him. And Misty. Oh, but I keep tanking. I think my Draven is fine. He doesn't want to go. Alright, then let's dip. I got Ignite in 5 though. That wasn't even my, 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 like, hit. Oh, it was a crit. It was a crit. I slow him with that. But that might not be enough. Oh, my Cassio is an amazing human being. Let's get out, though. Where did that guy come from? Oh, my bad. I uh, lost some focus a little bit. Um, okay, all good. Kano 03066, I appreciate that, bro, man. Um, Heji, can't stay, but want to say thank you for the YouTube and content. Thank you so much, Whisperings. <clears throat> yeah, he was just in the bush. Alright, chat, so what do we go? Do we go for Spirit Visage for to amplify the healing from this and this? Or should we go Eclipse first? Eclipse or, or, or this? It's, it's either or. Because this would amplify my healing from this and from this, right? He is so good against Darius. Nothing that Darius can do. Eclipse? Okay, everybody says Eclipse. Then we'll go Eclipse. Alright. Uh, Cassia wants to go top, so, or sorry, bot, so I'll go top. Let's focus here. We're level 16. My shield is massive. They have three dragons, which we gotta be wary of now. I can look to play for this turret. Because I went side lane against this and this guy. I'm three and a half items, right? Is Stasis yes, permit important? On most champion, yes. On Shen, it's way harder to, to, to replicate that. You're looking to set up your team and to... Uh, yeah, based, well, exactly like that. You're looking to set up your team, so you're less so a champion that plays for himself. You play for your team. So that means less farming on side wave, less jungle camps, and more grouping, and more setting up skirmishes. So it's a, it's a little bit of a different playstyle. Um, this item allows you to get more farm, but it's still hard, in the general sense. No Demolish, no Yorick Q, no Goose, and no Maiden to hit me, help me with the turret. This guy got a full Starrix on his Rico, by the way, so he's actually super strong now. You gotta be careful, because Cassio and Master are both. So it's time to dip for sure. Jarvan jumps are kind of screwed. I can't save them. They don't have flesh, either of them. Jarvan ult and Oriana ult, I can't help them. Nothing I can do there. Maybe I could have sacrificed myself for... So the Jarvis doesn't even jump in at the, at the... At the... At all, but... Yeah, I don't know. That was really hard to do anything. We're not gonna FF. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't expect him to keep sieging. I need to drag my blade through them. Oh, that W is really awkward. Okay, I shouldn't keep fighting. Where is everybody, though? How did Mastery die? What did he die to, even? Ah, uh, he did so much damage. He did 5k damage to me. Holy moly. I'm not healing as much as I thought I would. Tank the tower. They died to turn it. Lovely. Well, Baron is gonna be up, but I will have ult. This is 1.7, right? Yeah, so I can't get it. I'm just short. Orion's three items. I lost both of my sums. I think if we play as five, we could win a team fight, but n none of my carries have flesh, which is very tricky against Jarvan, Oriana combo. Oh, this is just grief. Wait, Jarvan doesn't want to go in. Nice. Okay, we live. I'm going to wait for the Eclipse. I can get it. Sonokra, uh, the Smolder was tanking your turret, that's why I went on him.
Why is Draven split pushing bot? I would uh, refer to that as um, suboptimal. We need to group. I don't think I save him. And they let me come in. Bro, are these really gold players? They waited with killing him until I came. That's like smart. <laughs> I don't know, we're never grouped, that's why we can't win this game. I do most of the damage on my team, I think, as well, which should not be the case. But we're never grouped, let it. You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. That guy is good. We will have all sums. Thank you, Kuno Ichi. Thank you for the primer, bro, I appreciate it. Any recommend players for rank or top? I watch. Uh, I recommend running my rank, watching my unranked to masters on your on uh, Rengar. Can you try Dorn's Blade plus double adaptive as runes next game? Is that actually a playstyle? Don't fight without me. Wait, my Cassio and Yi are in their back line. Okay, nice. Don't go. Just go for the dragon. I can't waste it old. I just gotta get the Darius off of him. He's a genius. He's dead though. Where's Oriana? I haven't seen her in this whole ordeal. Where's the Oriana? Is she FK? I'm just zoning here. Doris is 16 as well, 4 items. I haven't seen Oriana yet. I think we're just extremely lucky that Oriana's Renly isn't here. He's a shutdown too. There is she. Ah, I'm dead. I won't die fast though, unless Darius comes for me. Nice. Yeah. Once he gets his passive, I'm just one shot with 1300 damage. There's not much to do against that. Just defend this, and we're fine. And that guy just gonna take this fight or what? Alright, this is gonna get one shot. Idiot. Oh, the guy's griefing it. Rakan is ult again. He has Sterox. Oh, no, okay, that's nice. He kills his brother. Okay. I think they win. We can hit. Uh, my last item, I think, is uh, this item. So I just heal more. All the healing is amplified. I already have 6k healing with this and 2k healing with this. Bro, that Jarvan does not die, does he? Never mind. Well, if I was Yorick here, I would TP spawn maiden, eat this, eat... Okay, I won't say it. My Janus trying to move on the smolder. I think I'm seeing a lot of interesting things around somewhere. Hello, can you please move team portraits to over the map? Yes, why do I do that actually? Why is it like this? Where do I change that even? Streamer? Where do I change that? That has to be an interface. There we go. All right, well. We still need to 5v5. Tread carefully. Oh, 
I think I have to E flash him, and I hope this is a cannon event that will randomly cause us to win the game if we just group here. Uh, maybe the flash is a waste though because it don't really get anything from it. But like I said, I hope enemy team just randomly have a stroke and fight us right now, and we get more kills. At least we're getting top lane. Nashers in one minute. I think I wasted my flash though. That guy's four items. Hey Lois, can you play Cho'Gath? There's no praise in Cho'Gath and I want to see how change top lane plays Cho'Gath. I could do Cho'Gath. I could put tanks in the next vote. We should do a tank. I could do Cho'Gath, Mundo, Sion. Maybe. My duel, thank you for the tier 1, but I probably wouldn't play Cho'Gath as a tank. At least not every game. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you for the tier 1, brother. That guy's dead. And I got baited. I shouldn't have followed that. I'm just getting bit. Okay. I lost a lot of focus this game as well, by the way. I have eight deaths. I made a plenty of mistakes, though. It was a bit of a weird game. It's a warm-up. It's okay, though. I'm also not sure if this build is optimal, but I do do a lot of damage. It's hard for me to get on top of them, though. Yeah, we need Jace. Bro, Jace was in the pole. He didn't win. Chen won. Chen won with a, with a clear lead. Yo! L2 Army. Honestly, if L2 Army wants Jace, we should probably do Jace. Because L2 Army is just the GOAT. And that's facts. Alright, but we gotta win this team fight here. We can join as a group as five. One time. One time is five. It's too hard to group as five in this MMR. This guy has no flesh, this guy has no flesh, and this guy has no flesh. So anybody that gets hit by a jar of an ult, they have no dashes, they're just dead instantly. Your voice is so pretty. Thank you, I think. Oh, yeah, has no flesh. Where's my Draven? Not here. Okay, maybe I shouldn't dive in. I don't know. We're again never S5. We have never been at S5 once this game. Not a single time. Draven is farming mid. Two people are fighting here. Oriana is randomly getting... I don't know. This is a problem with gold elo. Like, I'm asking, like, five times already to group S5. Yeah, exactly, Brace. He's given 1,400 subs, so I think it's more than fair that if he says Jace, we play Jace. Alright, it sucked. I, uh... I could have done way more this game myself, but yeah, I need my team to group. My champion wants to team fight. My champion wants to peel. My champion wants to play with the team. You know, it's never happening. So it wasn't really a playable game, and I died too many times in crucial moments. It's okay. Next game is gonna be a lot more structured and a lot more focused. My bad as well. Also, I do think enemy team played better than I anticipated. We get coached by Xped too? Hopefully so. Should happen though, yes. I hope so. Alright, let's keep going. Are we ever going to do a Lawi? Yes, most likely. When is uh, up for grabs? I don't want unfair advantage. You're the GOAT to army. Uh, he ganked me a few times, which was at good timers. No, 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 we're gonna keep playing Ch Ch Shen. We'll do Shen to masses now first. I wanna see my healing done and my damage that game. It should be pretty high. Well, I had m almost most gold earned, but the Draven, I had most damage in my team. How much healing did I do? Banger. Oh well, could have been a better game. We're in vain top to challenger. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce. Thank you, Bryce. If you ever do an under to jungle to master, what championship would you look to most forward to play? Well, I think if I do jungle, um, losing first game hurts and more so bad. Ah, we'll, we'll fix it. What champion would I play in jungle? I would probably play multiple champions, but I would want to play like Graves, Kindred, Master Yi, Lee Sin, those champions probably. Yes, Akali will be in the polls in the future. I think I'm gonna just make a decision here that next vote is going to be a tank. So either Mundo, Cho'Gath, Cyan, maybe Orn as well. 
Hey Alois, thank you again for helping me from gold to emerald. Love what you're doing. Stay strong, my friend. Thank you, beast underscore FFS. I appreciate it. Yeah, exactly, powder filter. I know what you mean. Was it somebody from last game? Was this the master you? I honored him, so I guess it was. Yo. Is he gonna flame me? That fast? Oh, it's a Cassio. Yo, can we duo? <laughs> I didn't know. I thought I was gonna get flamed. Sorry, bro. I'm on a solo mission. But I wish you the best. I thought I was gonna get flamed. I had to reject him. She saw your potential. <laughs> oh, that's wholesome. I expected to get cursed flamed. There was somebody who just mentioned that I should go double adaptive. I'll go one adaptive, but I don't think I should play D-Blade Shen, though. I think it's too much. Like, actual D-Blade Shen? Eh. I'm not gonna buy anything. If I had a ban on Shen, I would probably ban Gangplank. Or something like this. I would feel mentally pressured playing Gangplank or Shen into Gangplank. Because I know he's gonna get so much gold against me. How do you always get top lane roll? Find a man. No, I'm just lucky, I guess. I don't know. Skill. Thoughts on Mundo? I like Mundo, but he's a situational pick. I don't think you can play Mundo in every draft because there's so much percentage health damage in the game. So, um, yeah, there's that. How do you have high CS if the enemy later zones you from the last hits? That shouldn't be possible for the entire landing phase. Malphite lane, huh? Malphite lane. Do I still go ignite? It seems senseless to go ignite into Malphite. I mean, I do get kill pressure, right? But with TP, I could play the map a little bit more. Do I want ignite? Hello, guys. I'm Aloys. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Dodge your game and take you to Prime and send no VIHD. Take you to Prime as well. If anybody flames my wall up, I'm perma banning you. Should I go chat? One quick question. Do you guys know if Revitalize heals your Sundered Sky, your Unending Despair, your Grasp, your Everything? Does that increase healing? Because heals and shield you cast or receive are 10% stronger. Is that Sundered Sky as well? It does? Then I will go this. Then I'll just get extra healing. Oh, healing, okay. Just go TP tank, Shen. That AD build is cringe. TP tank, but the AD build allows you to win more games, I feel like, or at least have more impact in games. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep with Ignite for a bit. All healing sources, okay. <clears throat> hey yo, what's up, bro? Hello, New following here. Alloys. I followed you because I want to learn how to top play. Yo, G underscore Lee. Yo, the data thing with a prime for three months. Hello, handsome. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for all the primers, guys. Even works on fountain. Like, okay, good. I'm gonna keep playing Flush Ignite. I beg you to look at the blue ninja build. What is the blue ninja build? That sounds like some hidden Asian technique. Hello, Alois. Have you thought about playing Riven? I heard they are a very fun champion. Is Riven a day now? Damn. I don't know. Yo, Don Rum, good to see you. Skype Shen. Oh, what are you guys talking about, man? 
How much of the top lane fundamentals can you apply in mid lane? Most of them. Uh, to name a few examples. Reset timers, wave manipulation, jungle tracking, level up timers. All those things are uh, exactly the same. So yeah. Oh, they have the grass Brazilian setup. Their cop is so disgusting, actually. There's a very few targets for me to E. Range, range, range. This has ult, this is ult, this is ult. And do I want to dash into this guy and no? And like, hmm. this looks like a hard draft again. Shave, baboon, they were prime. Do you ever freeze him? Yes. Proxy him is harder though. You can't really proxy him. When your opinion is the most optimal role to climb from gold, looks like jungle. I think every role works from climbing from gold, man. Even top lane. In fact, I would say the lower you go, the better top lane is. Because if you're better than your opponent, you can get so far that you can carry games. Shift nasty. Thank you for prime as well, man. I appreciate it. All right, we're yapping a lot. The blue ninja shen build. What is this? Blue ninja shen build. Ignite ghost. Oh, this is this 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 is the exact build I had last game. This build. This is literally the build I had last game. Yeah, this is the build I'm running. We're we're doing the blue ninja build actually. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, let's go back to the game and focus here. I'm gonna look if I can get one trade on the mile fight here. He's playing Resolve, Cometos. Nobody home. I'm gonna ward his golems to see if he clears them. I don't think fundamentals work against Yon. You're wrong. But fundamentals are not tied to a champion or a matchup. Lilia says, "Good leash, please." I missed. Oh, because I got e start. I'm gonna. He's D-ring. I'm gonna put my Q here. Remember, chat. If you drag your Q through your opponent. You get extra damage, right? He has W start? I'm gonna provide three hits on him. That's very good damage. My Q is here now. I'm gonna try and drag it through him again. There we go. Uh, he's kiting both sides. A lot of people don't know how extremely strong Shen is in the early game. This is a clear example. All right, very clear example. I Q flash to get the Q still to go through him, and I think that also gave me a little bit of extra damage to kill him there. Maybe the flash wasn't required because your Q also enhances, enhances your range as well. But this is the prime example. A lot of people don't know how extremely strong Shen is in the early game. He is stronger than champions like Renekton even, simply because you have so many opportunities with Q stacks. Here again, look at my damage shit. You don't expect this amount of damage from a Shen, right? This is what I'm saying. People don't know how strong Shen is in the early game, but... It, ooh. I'm gonna use the terrain here to my advantage. Shen, get me, baby. Ay! Lilia! So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to get it all. Well, uh, game over. Uh... Uh, Ur or the Tron will gank top level 3 with 12 CS with a blue buff, so that means he's done his 3 bot side camps. Lilia, you don't, you don't have to take everything, bro. Well, there you go. Shen Gaming. See, again, to read the thread. Shen's early game damage is massive. This is why I play Flashing Knight on him, okay? Because you do so much damage on Shen in the early game. Alright, we go for this. I think I go for this component first, simply so that I can still control the wave. It gives me AD and health. So, again, chat. Aim to drag your blade through your opponent because it gives you a um, percentage max. I can't read all that stuff, man. The blade is increased to extra damage plus four and a half percent max health magic damage, and he gains fifty percent attack speed. So fifty percent attack speed and extra max health damage. That is why if you land your E on your opponent, your Q damage is guaranteed, right? So if I land my E, I drag my Q through him automatically. Look at the damage and the attack speed. Bomba. That's how you trade with Shen. Now my blade is here. I'm gonna wait for him to walk through it. And again, so many people don't notice. Blade is through him again. Attack speed. Attack speed. You see how fast my attack speed is? Here, 1.19. Now it goes away. E him again. Get my Q stacks through him. Bomba. 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 Oh, play it over. Goodbye. Go reset, piggy. Shen Gaming. Drag your blade through your opponents. 
I didn't even notice for the longest time, by the way. When Shen got reworked, I only noticed that, like, playing at the Shen, the 20th game, that you should drag your... You know, if, if he drags his blade through you, there's, like, extra damage and stuff. I didn't notice for the longest time. My first short that did extremely well on YouTube was me playing Shen and dragging my blade through my opponent. Nobody knew. We hold the wave here. It's a freeze. We keep turning out though, because if I don't start turning out right now, chat, this wave is simply gonna get too large. Because the next wave has just spawned, and I want to try and keep this wave here so that this next mean wave can take over the aggro from this means, so I don't have to tank it, right? He spot boots two potions. I look to E through him. Get my Q again, W. And boom, trade three Qs right there. Now, again, my blade's behind him. So now he walks through, Q again. Look, this guy still doesn't know that I'm dragging my blade through him the entire time. Now I want to wait with my E again, because look, now my blade's behind him, right? So if you E through your opponent and then Q, your blade's behind him, you can get two Qs like that. So now my blade's behind me. I want to E him to get my blade through him again, to get the extra damage. What I can also do is Q. I have three stacks right now. E through him, get my Q again. And then I have six stacks whilst I start the fight. Trundle is probably in top side, so... I'm gonna wait for my Q. Slow him as well. Good flash. I have my ult. Probably don't want to ult here because I'd lose too much farm. And I don't think we can fight if I ult. Maybe we could have. I don't know. Alright, now we need to set up a reset. So I'm gonna slow push this wave. But also, chat, how much gold do I want on my reset? Let's check. 1200. So I'm gonna slow push this wave. This wave gives me 100 gold. So I probably want to stay a little bit longer. A normal wave gives you 100 gold. A cannon wave gives you 200 gold. So here, this next wave is only gonna give me 100 gold. As a result of that, chat, I'm gonna slow push here. Because hard pushing here will not give me enough gold to my reset. But this wave will. So now I slow push this wave. So I can hard push next wave and get 1200 gold to my reset. Does that make sense? Fine, males! Okay, let's slow push. So this is why my enemy... Shen so strong. Yes, drag your blood through your opponent. Slow push this wave. Look at my gold chat. 11.25. That was not enough. Now push this wave. Then I will have enough. E through his face to annoy him. Q through him. Find the man. I want go. Alois to put his blade behind me and drag it through me. Fundamentals, what are saying? I will never do that. No. Repent. Alright, let's recall. Alright, let's reset now. <clears throat> I have ult. The thing is right now, chat, is I want to look for ingenious hunter sex. I only have two. I want five because uh, that makes me happy. Give me shorter cooldown on my Eclipse, give me shorter cooldown on this, give me shorter cooldown on this. So, yeah, let's go. This guy needs 100 mana for his ultimate chat, so if I make him use QE here, he will not have enough mana for his ultimate. This wave is frozen, but I have a TM at, so I can't really freeze it. And I'm assuming that this Moffat is recalling, so instead of freezing, I'm gonna push Aloy's wire pushing, so I can maybe look for a plate. Because instead of freezing, which is already hard because of Tiamat, I could look to get a plate instead, so I gain more from pushing than I would deny by freezing. Nuki, thank you for the one Will you ever do unranked to Chal with Riven on Yune? So you're basically saying, would I do unranked to Masters, but on EU Nordic? Yes, I could, but why would I go to EU Nordic to do that? Where did this Moffat just go to? Where was he traveling towards? Drag my blood through him. Damage. Wait, get it, get it, get it, get it! Ah! Sorry. I'm gonna look to move here. I have my ult. Special Tyrone. You can look for the... Okay. Did you say it was me and then you said I was joking I don't have three euros? I can ult. Go in! Let's go, baby. Give me my ingenious hunter stacks. All of them. Uh, that was a shit combo. Well, I got two ingenious stacks, so I take it. Could have played that better, though. Okay. Well, we don't talk about the mechanics. We talk about the intention. Thank you, Nuki, again for the T1. And thank you, Phantom Edus, for the 3, but... 
You're still a little bit of a beater. All right, let's uh, get this and yeah, let's go. We got a Titanic. Next item is gonna be Sundar Sky, and then yeah, we keep watching the people. Oh, and nine no. eight. Thank you for the five. Thank you to me and the homies. I appreciate it immensely. Thank you, man. Alright, let's keep on the pressure here. The Trundle is here. He's Tiamat. He's uh, probably gonna look for grubs. So we're gonna harpish this way if I look to go into the river myself. I also want a sub. Someone needs to give that guy a sub. I'm not saying that because... I'm saying that because I want it myself. I'm a great little piggy. Alright, let's look to cancel this grubs here. I have full prio, so Malphite has to collect this wave. I'll leave here to see if the Malphite is coming into me. He's only level 6. I'm gonna destroy this little piggy. Yeah! Sorry. It's my uh, natural voice. If you last at the grubs chat, you get 20 gold extra. Don't tell your jungler. It's Tyrone, it's time to leave. Hi, beaches, the spares light. Is that how you introduce yourself? You come into the room and you say, Hi, beaches! Alois is a very Nay, they were gifting Mr. Tadu's new. Tadu's. Tadu's Dinus as well. Q. Auto W. Have his HP. I want to drag my blade through him. Bro, it's, it feels weird saying I want to drag my blade through him now because of the one donation, man. That guy made me feel uncomfortable. Watch this. Don't watch. He's gonna ult me. You effing pig. Okay, that's is not good. Um, yeah, it's not who a good coach is. Cooking with this one, by the way. Cooking with this one. That guy should die, though. Tyrone, this is all you. Nice job, Tyrone. Nice. The wave is not that good. You can just ult him. Why are you not ulting? W him? Bro, you have flesh smite everything. Are you slow in the brain? Fucking ran out of mana. Fucking did that, mate. For real, man. For real, you fucking ran out of mana, mate. Fucking ran out of mana. Well, the Malfa got a fat shot done. I'm gonna dive this guy. He doesn't know yet, though. Chad, he doesn't know, does he? Oh, he doesn't know about the shending mechanics. Watch this, Chad. I'm gonna auto. Watch this. Auto Titanic E through. Goodbye, piggy. Well played. Alright, nice. I have ult again. It's time to impact the map. But first... Blades. I'm gonna ping to my team that my ult is ready. I am ready to ult. And save the world. Who's sexier? Shadow of Misfortune? Your mom? No. Um... Won't say. I'm getting a lot of plates here. Just walk. That's gonna happen though. I can drag my blood through him again. Look at that damage, man. I'm a t third time I drag my blood through him. I'm a tank destroyer because of the percentage health damage, right? I this guy's in kill range. Unless it gets passive. Oh, my text people was too slow. I didn't drag my blade through him. So it didn't work. But you know, I have to reach and I get the full turret. I did. I misplayed that. I could have killed him. But I didn't drag my blade through him on the bounce there. But it's alright. I think I can still kill him. Whew. 
should have flashed, but it's greedy. I got I got my passive here. Drag my blade through him. Uh get a stroke. And win. And win. And win, of course! Easy. Don't ask me how I won. It was a calculated passive, calculated Titanic Hydra. GG. Yeah. 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 Well, I griefed that really hard, but it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. I mind controlled them by flashing. You see that, guys? I mind controlled them by flashing. I flashed, stood still. And and they were like, wait a second, what is going on here? Then I Titanic Hydra the mean to even get them more confused. And I just killed them. We need the last deck on the RE chat. This is our last ingenious deck. Oh, Yorick would take this. Shen can't. Oh. I'm gonna ult for that. Thank you, Lydia. I have so much gold. I'm gonna cut them off here. Zillion probably is old though. Old. Why not wait for me? Oh, Nico, you sexy beast. Oh! 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 Sorry. That flank by Nico, though. And that Jinx ult. Nice. Alright, we get Herald here. I'm gonna play for tier 2. And then we're gonna go bot. We're in a really good position. I don't know, I don't think it's worth ulting for those scenarios. Because I would just lose 600 gold to save a life. Worthless life. Kidding. Try to fight me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Look how scared he is. I'm coming for you, piggy. Feels good. <laughs> Alright, already doesn't expect my damage here. I'm gonna drag my blood through this tails of her. Alright, I need 2700 gold for Eclipse Chat. To finish my ninja build. Alright, let's get the Eclipse. I can just sell the shoot and get it. Well, I'll one shoot piggies now. Wait, what? Oh, good. Three bird, take with a two one. I've waited all my life for the Shen series, Tai King. GG. I should have altered the Shen or the Z. I would have gotten my last deck. I still need one. Holy moly, he predicted with the flash ult for absolutely nothing. There was no follow up. It was still a really good ult by him then. Like, he predicted the Shen there. He predicted the ZW. That was impressive in its own regard. It was just an absolutely disgustingly shit play, but. Watch this damage. No! There we go. Wait, my E did so much damage. It deals 400 damage? What? Wait a second, chat. Someone in chat said, Ed Aloy Sunel, nine games winning streak because of your course, bro. I need to drop the open at GG. All right, I'm curious to see how that has went. Four. Okay, let me a second though. All right, I'm gonna dash over the wall and watch with Ari. Never mind. My wave is actually insanely good though because of Titanic. Okay, I can watch with Ari and then I get my last stack that I need. 
All them. Unlucky. You had one job. They are all avoiding me. They're scared of me. They're scared of the gaming mob and Shen. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Honest mistake. I <laughs> got zoo kill. <laughs> there is always pay chatter. I gotta, you know, before I go live, I said like my, my DMs to the homies. Get a few pay chatters on the stream and it's GG. How you doing, Zukil boss man? How are, are you as a young player enjoying the current top lane meta? I'm sure you're having a lot of fun playing against Karma, Twisted Fate, the occasional Vayne, and if you're lucky, another Cassante player. How you doing, boss? I'm doing amazing, man. Good to see. You. I have my ult here. This actually is take, costing me more health than I would imagine. I still need to kill an Ari so I get my last ingenious stack. And then I'm a professor. Alright, let's see if we can watch the Ari here. Rose on. Goodbye. There we go. I have all to join the fight here. I'm going to keep pushing until I have to join the fight. I have a flank here. Will my E deals count, uh, jungle camp, uh, damage on jungle camps? I didn't know that. We're learning a lot today. I didn't know my E dealt so much damage in the first place, but to jungle camps as well. Mr. Donut. I'm gonna stake my Q already, so I have three Q stacks here. Uh, this guy is walking to Narnia. Drag it through him. Goodbye. Lovely. She had no flash from the earlier play. Not enjoying League too much right now. I'm barely playing. I think Yojup is still fine, but yeah. I mean, I can't imagine. I don't want to play high level. Oh. <laughs> okay, that shield. Oh, I tried to taunt him be before he could uh, use that thingy. Okay, I'm going to just push the wave. Hope the R doesn't mind that. I'm going to get a beta to e ultimate one more time. Oh, she doesn't have, oh, she does have it. Drag the blade through him. Like attack, baby. The E kill. Nice. Lovely! Yeah, but... Um, Night Slayer, thank you for the prime as well. I, I have the same zoo kill. I, I can't really have that much fun playing high elo. I think switching up the counter to this has, has really, you know, revived. Um, and it's a different type of content, right? But it's way more engaging. And I find it more fun, honestly, than playing Hyelo right now. It's not as mentally draining. And it doesn't really control my mood that way. I really like this content idea, so yeah. Wish you the best of luck in your life. Pant for Lange. I wish you the ex absolute same, boss man. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. I mean, <laughs> the way he typed it is kind of a threatening aura, though. All right, let's get this last healing thingy. And now we are pretty much unstoppable. Uh, your fundamentals help, but any tips on getting better early game? I keep losing, but turn around pretty fast afterwards. Well, two advice for your early game. Well, three. First of all, scout your level one. Scout the matchup, scout his summoners, scout his runes, and scout his starting items so you can judge for yourself if you should be skirmishing level one or not. If you can get priority, look for it, because even bad matchups can become winning if you get your level two first. And track the junglers in the early game, so you don't get like surprise ganked. Learn how to utilize early game crashes, for example, if you're weak sided, be very careful of early game crashes, right? And um, those kind of things. There's, there's a lot, there is so much to go into there though. Show the rune stats, there's my rune stats, there you see it. Okay, let's focus on closing out this game. I have my ult still, we have mitten it down. I can pretty much one shot any piggy. There's a charm coming here. I think I should go bot lane chat, and that is because if I'm bot, I can just always ult to my team, right? So I want to be bot. You should go mid. Go top. I can ult to you and be bot. Go top team. Don't farm jungle camps. One of the biggest mistakes you can do when you have Baron is farming jungle camps chat, because you delay your tempo immensely. Your team is not allowed to play. I have ult here. They're not sieging top. 
Where's my money paid for the chip, by the way? I need to eat? Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't show me open GG yet. Is it bad to take top turret early, around 12 minutes? No, 12 minutes is a completely fine timer. In fact, then you can also still roam to other lanes and look for plates there, right? You can go bottom mid and push up top and look for plates there. Okay, let me finish this game now. One second, chat. Here's Zonyas. This guy is surprisingly low HP because of his items. You go Frozen Art, you're very low HP. I'm gonna bait out this ult here by just pressuring. I missed my Q on the Mal fight. Oh, I should have ulted. Kill him with Ignite. Infinity kill is not too shabby. This guy's no ult. Oh, and no flash. Watch this. <laughs> mad? Oh, I'm mad. Okay, movement. Okay, I can't believe he dodged me. I like a snail, bro. Wait, my Ari is... I've had enough of your shit. I heal a lot. I have no energy. I need to control the energy better. Alright, it's dip. I don't think I can anti-run myself. This build is definitely good in mid game, but it will fall off. It falls off hard in the late game. That's one thing. I think my champion in general just falls off. It's a mid game, just like king, but my champion is so shit heading into later stages. What advice do you have for hybrid digger top lane OTPs? Uh, repent. That's it. Yeah, nothing else. What advice do you have for Heimer Digger top OTPs? Maybe find a new hobby? No, I'm kidding, bro. You do you. I don't really play Heimer top. I don't have the highest advice for you. They see my sword, so they should know I'm somewhere in the vicinity. Do I one-shot him? My uh, healing is still pretty cracked. I have 5k with this, 600 only with that. I need the spirit visage to really apply all the healing, and now I also have this to even die less. That's good. And how does this 6% heal? Nice. I heal so much on everything. I just want to do damage check on the Zaya. That's not that much. Okay, I don't know what killed him. Nice. Okay, GG. Good game. We utilized Shen's early game strength. This is why I say you play Shen Ignite. And um, yeah, when coaching with Petu, we're a little bit higher elo. I mean, I first learned the basics of Shen and play him a little bit more. Can we ban Wattistic? What did he do? What did he do? What did Walter do? Alright, we move on. Special Tyrone can get it. Look my last message. Waltistic. What advice do you have for me? I play Vayne Warstop only. It's against TOS. My advice for you. It's against TOS. I'm sorry. I'm watching your stream in school during lesson. Thought opinion? Based. A different school class. I can't really call this a school class, but based. Can you enable show ability cost in the settings? That's that's good. Can you check this out? Everybody's what is this? What is this guy doing? Wait, what? Does that guy even have... Okay, we'll try this next. Okay, we'll try it next game. I'll try it.
I'll try it. Relevantin. You were the guy that said you were on the wing stick, right? All right, chat. This guy said that uh, Relevantin, not a paid message, got the course and went on a nine win streak. As is expected of him. You're lying. Oh, this is rank flex. Bro, you're getting like carried every game. Does it count? No, I'm kidding, bro. Well done for yourself. Nice nine win streak. Um, you're a Gragas Grass top player, though. It's a head scratcher. Well done, though. Well done. I'm sure this river had a lot of fun this game. Yeah. No, well done, bro. Your mother loves you, too. Well done. Yeah, the most important fundamental is getting the better teams, I agree. Not sure what the song, but the band is Breaking Benjamin. What's the song slash album name here? I got you. It's called uh, Without You. It was the song we were listening to. We're not banning any... <gasps> I'M BANNING SHEN! <sighs> I was banning Shen. Uh, this was the playlist I was listening to. Here. What am I copying? Who blew up... <laughs> I was copying some coffee machine. That's not what I tried to copy. What? There we go. Why are you hitting on my big Graggy? You'll figure it out yourself. What's your highest SY streak ever? What's an SY streak? Do I want to know? I don't know. I think I'm falling for a trap again or somebody just is gonna ask me something stupid. SY streak? What's that? What backup champion do you have for Shen? Mmm. Try a game of Trindameros. Volibear. I actually want to try Volibear too. Go double adaptive and flat health. Okay, I can try it for a game. I can try it for one game to play Psychopath Shen. Psychopath Shen set up. Win streak. My highest win streak? I was once on a 13 game win streak. I lost two and then I went on another 13 game win streak in Challenger. So I had 26 wins and 2 losses. I can tell you I slept really good those, even, those days. Those were really good days. Yeah, that's that though. Doesn't happen often. Really doesn't happen often. I had another uh, account, a fresh account, where we went from unranked to challenger MMR within... Th this is the champion I said I'm scared of. This is the one champion I said I'm scared of, by the way. Because I'm going to be permanently on the timer. My champion has super low gold income. That champion has a shit ton of gold income. But it's fine. We're playing Psychopath Shen. Double Adaptive, D-Blade. We're going to try it. What is this, Walter? I, I, I can't even use anything. Okay, thank you. Let's watch it. Now we can watch it. This guy is on steroids. All right. This guy's a legend, though. Good content. Moving on. Ooh. All right. We are playing against the uh, Big Daddy Fat Jock. Oh, shit. They don't recommend D-Blit on Shen? Shame. All right, let's go. Uh, do you... Alois, do you ever play AP or non-meta tops? Here we go again. Here we go again. Shen is meta now. Shen is meta now, chat. Suck my nuts. Um, okay, wait, where is, uh, like, uh, the costs? The costs. I need my costs. There we go. So I don't. Have you noticed that all good players' win rates always end at 56% in Challenger? I mean, yeah, you're bound to go lower, right? There are some outliers, though. Off-meta means a champ that doesn't naturally go top, bro, not a champ that isn't strong. 
Okay, what's well, a good off meta top lane? Oh wait, by the way, Jack, we're playing against Gangplank. They usually hide here with a with a with a barrel. He's for sure. He's gonna barrel me. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, I'm psychotic. Okay, let me see if he's here though. I told you, I'm not psychotic. I knew it. But he's not him though. He might be big daddy fat joke, but I'm the gaming mop, and I mop him. I shouldn't hit that. Now this means I go to me. Don't center in the lane, but I'm still gonna be annoying. I'm gonna. Oh. 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 Zoning him from EXP? What do you want to do, buddy? Trust me, you don't want this fight. He couldn't control his mind anymore, chat. He got mind controlled by the D Blade Shen. GG. I told you, every gameplay there does. Every single gangplank player sits in a bush in level 1 to level 2. Yesterday we played against a gangplank, I said it, he was there. Now we play against a gangplank, he's there. Like, if you play against a gangplank, check this bush, he, they are always stack a barrel there. Always. I can guarantee you. And if he's not there, he's a pig. Why is he not TPing? This wave is pushing away from him. The wave is pushing away from him and he died. He's zero, zero CS, zero gold, zero bitches. The game is over. He's playing against the D-Blade Chen. Oh, there he is. Mama. He thinks he was winning now, or what? He thinks he's him now. Two points Q. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna Q him to slow him. Does he know chat? Oh, he's W though. I'm gonna trade here. I'm gonna Q first. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, I was doing some vocal practice. <clears throat> We could have done Gromp or we could have done off top, but Gromp was better there. No, the lane is still good chat. I died on my turn, remember. Fundamentals. I died on my turn. I died on my turn. So, Gameplay is still stuck in lane here. Nice one, buddy. I gotta cancel his base. I have a whole day with his mom. All good. He's losing a full wave here. We're still ahead. Should have traded the one for one though. He still has TP. Unlucky. Gotta focus here. Alright. I assume he's TP'd. There he is. But I don't have a full sheen. Not a challenge. Look at that. Look at that damage, baby. Watch my Q through him. Whoo! That hit on his face. Waiting for the E and the Ignite. Goodbye, baby. Shen damage. D blade double longs for double adaptive, double. I won't say the last word. GG. Now we have to hard push this wave. Ha <laughs> ha! Hard pushing a Shen! Ha <laughs> ha! That's true. Hard pushing a Shen is like. Uh, you can't find it. It doesn't exist. I only have auto techs. At least we're gonna go Titanic Hydra so we never have that issue for too long. Alright, nice. And we got a reset in. Wait a second, Kazik is ganking me. But he didn't recall yet. So are we scared of him, chat? Money, money. What are your thoughts on Kaylee top this season and does playing her make a ranged piggy? Give me a second. I'll respond. Thank you so much for the three. 
Okay, I think this is enough. We don't care about those two casters. I don't care about Big Daddy Fat Joke as well with holding this wave. I do care. I'm about to hit level 7. Vi, can you gank here? If Vi lives. She has a brain. Alright, this wave's coming into me. Alright, I'm gonna act as if I'm gonna recall now. Vi, come! Don't get distracted here! It's all you, Vi. I'm gonna take it. Should've showed up earlier. All good. Thank you, Peter Fowl, for the three. What are your thoughts on Kale this season? And does playing her make you a rage? No. Kale, play Kale is respectable. Kale is respectable. Kill is respectable because you start as a melee champion, you scale... You, you, no, it's fine. I think Kill is in the okay position. I liked her a lot when I played her. It's all good. Yo, Felix, thank you for the 100. Why did you have to join at that time? Why did you have to join at that time, Felix? You saw nothing. Felix, you saw nothing. And again, at that time, my timer chest. You can all laugh. You can all laugh, but look at this wave. So guess what? It was worth it. Pigs. I look at this academy and calculate that would stay alive. Nice. Well done, streamer. Well done, streamer. No worries, Chad. I got you. Nice yeah, Lois. Shut up. I do that one more time, gang. See what happens, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Told you. Do it one more time. See what happens. All right, chat. Now we have to do the thing on Shen where we have to hard. Actually, you know, I can't even push this wave. I genuinely have to slow push this into hard push next. But I have to keep hitting. That's the like I'm slow pushing, but hard pushing at the same time because I couldn't push faster even if I wanted to. So we're slow, slow hard pushing right now. So I go. I'm not seeing anything right now. Driving with my tractor, anyways. Okay, bro. Nice flex. I'll pa I'll come by with my Lamborghini later. Does my E hit minions? No, wait, I'm an idiot. Why did I ask that? Please, chat, don't clip it. The reason I want Alois to say is because he's small and people take him Why does my E? Is this X Petu? Is this X Petu? Greetings, dear viewer. Ooh, maybe we should have ulted. He's really freezing that. No way, bro. I could have killed him. I wasn't paying attention. Thank you for the primer. Thank you for the two. Random ones rush this game? No. Nope. We're going full Giga Chat build every game at the moment, currently. I only have one ingenious stack, though. Could maybe get an ult. Ooh, I like the attempt. I get two ingenious here. And I gotta recall, so I don't lose too much, because this guy's gonna start pushing the wave. No, he's a pig. He's freezing. Well, I get two ingenious decks, so I'm fine with that outcome. I'm gonna sell this wave boots. Probably wasn't worth the flash, but hey. Good job, Ezreal. He's... What? 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 You could've just hard pushed the wave and set up your reset instead of recalling. This is what we call piggy gameplay. <laughs> Wait, El Tori, what are you guys talking about? What's up? That hook hit me? I'm sorry, bro. Hope you recover. I taunted your mom as well. Get it? Get a damage. You guys think he enjoyed that? Keep freezing, bro. See what happens. Hey, boss. Good to be here. Oh, seven. Yo, Piggy. North. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for the T1. Thank you for the 3. Good to see you, bro. Short Felix, hit me up. Oh, 
I've died too many times now. I gotta keep the focus. Get him, baby. As someone who is 33 years old, it feels good to finally be represented. Thank you. How did I represent you? Yo, Magnum Dog Toe. Good to see you. How do I represent you, Creamer SC? What did I say? Or did somebody in chat say something? I don't get the reference. Yeah, I know Adaptive Grandmaster. Boop. I'm gonna risk it. Aren't you 33 years old? If I was, you'd be calling me. I would say. I thought I forgot the jokes in your gameplay. But want another brother? Well, that joke was so bad, Felix. You got. Nah, bro. That's like so bad. Bro looks so much older. He's like 24. 23. I always had reached Demon 2 after I hit Diamond 3 days ago. Is it good? Of course it is. Well done, Astro. Do you think he knows I'm here, Chad? I guess he didn't know. I'm just gonna make him panic. Okay, well, he's the goat. What if we freeze now? What if I freeze with Titanic? Not the best freeze. Ah, I mean, he's not gonna walk up anymore. He's scared, little piggy. We should dive. What, why is my tub? What? That's how you communicate with your junglers. You're just spamming until they listen. Where's my wife? Violet is in. Four seconds. There we go. Well done, jungler. Aurelian Soul is not happy with that one. Shut up, Aurelian Soul. Skill issue. You can get two plates. Uh oh. Oh, it's not enough. Not even close. I want this plate. Come, Pike. You want this. Yeah. Yeah. Piggy. Please don't spot me. Right around. I have ult. But I have ult now, it has to be worth it because if I ult away, it gets a full turn. So I gotta keep that in mind, right? I gotta be very mindful with my ults against the game pack. I don't wanna give him free gold. Alright, Felix. It's okay. At the end of the day, you're a mod now, so you have to be an example to the rest of the chat, right? True. This game has no flash. Immediately. I have ult, but I need Kha'Zix and Annie for my ingenious. Why are so fast? Can dive. Okay. I have ult for him. Nice. Look at the taunt! Dude, I played it so well! I feel like I, my W was good, my E's was good, my position was good. Nice. I like it. Mm. 
And we got all the kills. Nice. It's all me, baby. It's all me. Now we just need Annie. Top lane needs a kill on Annie. That shouldn't be too hard. Expect to triple kill there. Yeah, and your grandma would probably card your kill there. My bad, bro. Sorry for existing, okay? Should use W on waves a little bit more or a jungle camps. I feel like I have so much uptime on this, it's only 40 energy, I'm barely using it. Alright, Felix, didn't ask. You keep doing the seeding job, bro. Right. Let's see how fast my champion can farm jungle camp, shall we? We have all shotguns on the map. We got this shotgun and this shotgun and less skirmers. So we are pretty strong right now. He eat onto that, I think. Oh. Bye. There was somebody here. Kazakh's flushed. Look at my kill participation. 13. Is that highest? 11. Yes, I have highest kill participation as a top laner. That feels so strange. Especially because it's still like not used to my place though, right? I, I like to play for jungle camps, I like to play for turrets. Like normally my brain is here, like go both, run both alloys, get this tier 1, or get this tier 1. But right now I'm just mainly looking for skirmishes, which is just so different than the gameplay that I'm used to. Yo Frisk, good to see you. This guy's getting so much- wait, I'm gonna fake my recall. I need him to see me though. This is an ancient strategy. I need him to see my recall. Watch this. I'm next to the bush. One pixel away from the bush. Okay, alright, he's recalling. I've altered a second. And now we get both tier 1 as well. Werf, baby, werf! I've killed this Kaisa three times in a row now. Midwave, at Herald, and now again. So she's mildly upset. We got a recall, we gotta play for this. We have to play for this. They already have two. I've got a lot of kills for my Vi as well. We gotta go Eclipse next, because my mama didn't raise no bitch. Yes, I know that my passive is visible to my enemy. Shen has gone pretty decent so far. Hey, who did that? I maybe I shouldn't eat like that. Because now my champ is nothing for 9 seconds. Oh. That was a grief. Like, can we not just do Nash now? They have no game plan, no Kha'Zix. We can just do Nash now. Oh. Right there. Oh. oh, we just got Annie done. That's my last stack, though. That's my last stack, though. I missed click. Okay, nice. Nice. I got the Annie Timbers too. I mean, it's like that people caught called. I'm mean, just gonna go top that and play for this. We have five ingenious stacks now, so we are a genius. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna play Shen with an aggressive build. I'm not gonna play Shen with a tank build in most scenarios. And then so that I actually have agency in the game and I can kill people in side lane and actually pressure the map. Because I feel like if you play tank, you're too reliant on your team. Like a collector Ezreal. I wouldn't want to put my faith in the collector Ezreal's hands. I don't want to lose my shutdown, but I want this wave in. If I die though, they get Nash for guaranteed.
2.1. We're very close. We can sell this too. Well, never mind. My blade was there, so I knew I'm here. From the shadows. <gasps> I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. We can't do much. I'm gonna reset the side and maybe get a tier two as well. A plus fifty gold here. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good indeed. Tier two turn, baby. Lots of stuff happening at once. Ezreal's making some crazy decisions here to not do Nash. I got 3.5k. It looks like I'm playing York again, chat. Voice. We don't get Nash now, though. Well, that sucks. Hello, Mr. Aloysius. This is my first time watching the stream. I want to say thank you for sharing everything. Ah! Sorry. And I want to say thank you for making me no problem, bro. Good to see you, boss. Alright, let's go. I don't like that play. It's a piggy play. Alright, let's look for some more catches. Any flash. Wait, I'm getting one shot. That's really bad. That's a 1k. They were all 1 HP. And also, I need timestamps. I don't know the timer now. That's really annoying that they all live with 1 HP. Please, group. Petal would go Terminus? Why would he go Terminus? That is a crazy item of Shen. Yeah, they did Nash. Oh, get Dragon then. Now get Dragon. Kai Shiro Xeno, thank you for the tier 1 boss man, I appreciate it. Revs, thank you for gifting Elo Lesio. Elo Lesio. I gotta focus here because Red will losing a shutdown. Look, this 3 and 7 gangplank has 3 items and I have 3 items. Because he is the highest gold income champion and I'm one of the lowest. Even though I have 19 kill participation, he has 7. We still win 5v5 even with them having Nash. I think instant ult to the Vi there is the best to instantly reach the backline. I'll let the... Okay, if you don't want to wait, then I'll take it. We have 23 kill participation. Me and Vi are mirroring the score. What a goat. I think the higher elo I get, by the way, the easier my Shen games will go. Because the better my teammates will be. As weird as that sounds... I'm confident I can win my lane. But the higher elo I get, I'll get better teammates. Does my E do damage to camps? It does. Wait, we learned that already. I just forgot. It doesn't do damage to me and... Nice. Okay, we have Unending Despair. This guy flashed and cleansed. We just won the fight even though they had Nash, so that was good. Just do same combo. Jensen, thank you for the T1 as well, man. Thank you for the subs, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. We're already 26. My jeez. Uh, it takes so long for me to take, but it helps the entire team. Team getting called again. 
I gotta really keep typing to my team to 5v5 because else it's genuinely hard to win on the champion. Another 1v9 champion. I need my team to play well. Group only! I'll just copy the message. And now I can't look for play here. Although Vi is looking maybe. Yo, Azuon, good to see you. Gameplay is getting more fed. I have ult for the Vi. Their dragon or their Baron goes away in 15 seconds. Do you think I'm getting better with this place? Not in game in terms of gameplay, but in terms of um how would I say it? Commentating, educating, and stuff like that's 100 percent I'm getting way more articulate with the uh, with the points I'm trying to get across and stuff like that, right? So yes, 100% in that regard. Makes you stick it that you were the 2-1. I appreciate it, man. And I do learn a lot more about champions. For example, I knew nothing about Yorick and now everything about him now. So if I ever coach a Yorick student, I will be able to teach him so much more respect to give it a prime. Yeah, I'm down to play more Psychopath Shen. Set up. <laughs> ah! Money, money. Yo, they were one. What site are you using for purchasing new accounts? I only I hand one, level but my also accounts. I don't want to be scammed. Maybe you have a code? I only hand level my accounts. I have uh, wheels running in the rats. Oh, remember, focus. Look at this combo, man. She's gonna get altered and eat. I just watch that guy. My oh, that's how easy it is, man. We kill, we, we end. That's how easy it is. Vi ult with Chen ult. Anything they can start the fight, followed with Chen ult. Goodbye. Their entire team just evaporate. This guy even at Zonyas does not matter one bit. I think we end instantly. Holy moly, was that a team fight. And that's the strength of Shen, right? And this is what I will always say, champ uh, guys. Every champion has their own benefits and their own downsides. Where Shen likes, in, you know, wave clear and being able to get resources, he compensates in team fights. Thank you, Azuan, for the primer. I and mean, we can't end here. We cannot end. So we should back off. We actually can't end. This Vi is very good. I really like how he's playing. I don't like how the rest is playing. My blade's all the way here. Ooh. All right. Um, thank you, Azuan, again for the prime. Thank you for all the primers, and thank you, Clef, for the one. I appreciate it. Clef, you can send me a DM on Discord. Send me a DM on Discord, Clef. Thank you for the one. Alright, one minute for each of neutral, so let's prepare for that mentally. Play, fight, S5, can't lose. Yes, I will be aiming to collab with x too. Tell us, Vayne's downside, your parents disown you and don't love you. That's Vayne's downside. And jungle ganks. Yep. Shandle, baby. Okay, flashing pig. <laughs> that worked. Bro, what is this kiting even in this MMR? Like, why are players are not really pretty good? That was above average guys are kiting. <laughs> that damage. Well, that shot me up quickly, didn't it, chat? That was a humbling experience. You shut my ass up right there, like... <laughs> squash me like a mosquito on the wall. Alright. My bad. My bad.
Oopsie daisy. Nah, I don't talk about damage anymore. Alright, we got 5k HP. 5 HP, 180 armor, 380. We have a shield here, crit here. Pretty good. Alright. Kai's has no sums. She has no sums. Go 5v5. Just chat as a Shen. I think the biggest advice you do is just team, let's go 5v5 and we can't lose. Copy paste this message. Let's go. We should push mid and go bot. Don't farm jungle camps, it's the biggest waste. With two more minutes of Nash. Visor already prepping bot wave. We're just gonna go bot together. Very nice. Pike wants to die for the 16th time, still hasn't learned his lessons. We scout with this. Nobody home. There's one piggy there. Uh oh, mama, mama, mama. We should probably still go bot though. What is that damage? We jump by. Don't die, team. What are they doing? Idiots. Genuine idiots. Genuine idiots. They're gonna make it hard to end this game. It is crazy. And that's my problem with Shen. I can't close out games. I need to rely on my team. This is what I mean. The high elo you get, the, pro the easier the champion will be to play. What are they doing? Genuinely. What are they doing? How many more scenarios do they need me to put them in a good position? Should have already been a one game. Oh, this guy's dead. I don't guide him. I could kill one person, but I would trade my life for it, so it's not worth. Not bad. This is full build. This guy's gonna be full build, and this guy's gonna be full build. So this game is even now, by the way. We have a lethality Ezreal. I won't find Pentakill there. Kluge. Just gonna get temp on the bot wave. We have Soul in 120, I guess. I don't think there's much I can do to improve my setup. There's only seven or like six seconds cooldown on this, which is really massive. And there's like a four second cooldown on this. I have really high attack speed. If I engage this, we win. If I have to be main engage. That was a really good ult. We got two. Gangplank is still here. Oh, it's Kha'Zix. Flash. I don't know why we do the soul when we should end, but it's that instinct to go for the soul first. I keep so chasing this guy, my team can end. I can walk one, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I think this guy just flashed. I saw something flash on my minimap. 
This game is so incredibly hard for no reason, man. But that is the issue that I have, that we're gonna have with Chen, and it's gonna be closely out games. Because again, you rely on your team to, to end up winning the game for you at the very late game stages. <laughs> that was a 2k crit. Alright, bro. We only have 600 AD, I guess. Why are they too top? What's their issue? Back off. Can I improve my build somehow? Can I somehow improve my build? Wait, why don't be dead, please? We want to play Nash. I'm sure if I can improve it. This guy is so fat now. Look at this Ezreal. Psychopath. Guys, I could have one-shot him. It was more so prevent. That's what I mean. What an impossible game. What an impossible game. My carries are genuinely criminals. It is such a hard game. She has Zonyas. I can't rely on any of my carries, not the actual, not, not, uh, not the, like this, but the Vice playing amazing, and the Thresh is doing pretty good as well. Our carries are just absolute piggies. Ooh, try. He's one barrel only. I think we should go Nash. Oh, this Ezreal and Aurelian Soul are, 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 man, <laughs> we just can't end this game. Shit. Bro, if I lose this game, I'm actually gonna be upset. Okay, I killed the Empire. Please, please win, please win, please win, please win. <coughs> oh! I can't win! Because these guys are not humans! I am so incredibly gapped on the carries. This guy's 20. I've never seen somebody be so useless with 21 kills. It sounds weird, but I've never seen somebody be that useless with 21 kills. Genuinely, chat. Wait, do we lose? No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. This is an unholy game. Genuinely, what's going on, man? All we have to do is just walk as five once, but it is impossible in this MMR because everybody is a hero. Everybody wants to be a hero. They're not heroes, they want to be a hero. My bad. You have the most. Oh, he has the most uses build. I'm not sure about this play at all. It seems to be working. Never to play for Elder. Oh, it's gonna be a nice flip. If I was like Yorick right now, chat with this Elder, what I would do is just push mid. Just push mid. Oh, 
Don't go river. Just push mid. Push mid. They'll come to us. They come to us. Okay, now we can enter. Oh, where is five? Magically. And no one has died yet. Ah, oh, chat, here is what it's gonna come down to. I'm gonna stand here to be like a guardian for my team. Okay. One shot that guy. Game on Shin! Only 41 kill participation! Is that what I have to do to win games on this champion, man? What is this even? I remember saying Psychopath Shen game when I went D-Blade. I never would have imagined this type of gameplay. Holy moly, man. What is that even? Oh, this is why I played really well. This Aurelian Souls is easy. He needs to be... I won't say what I want. I don't say what I want to say. I won't say what I want to say. He needs to be reprimanded with like a mom and slippers or something along those lines. So he shuts his mouth. Pike died 21 times. Yeah, I guess bo this game this game wasn't about the best player winning. It was the biggest griefer losing. But somehow Ezreal and Ezreal and Arden so won. I don't know. It was a banger for sure. This guy deserves all the honors. <coughs> Alright, Boxo Toll, let's do the 1v1. What 1v1 do you want to do? Do you want to do Riven or Mundo? Boxo Toll. 1v1. Alright, Boxo Toll. S plus. 45k damage. 24k gold earned. I almost hit the same gold earned as Gangplank, although he has passive and first strike. He deserved that. Riven. All right, did you did you uh, unlock the 50k points? All right, let's go. Chat, we're gonna do a Riven one v one with Boxelto. If he wins, he gets VIP. He's not gonna win, cause I'm him. All right, you can invite the gaming mob hashtag goat or send me no, actually send me your in-game name. Narnias underscore Pike Deer. Thank you for the primer. Yorick E only one v one, please. <laughs> if he loses, I ban him. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Sexiest Riven, hashtag zero, 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 zero. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Boss man, unranked. All right, boss man. This is the setup we're going to go for. We're going to go Flash Snowball. And... I'll add the room page. We're going to go this. The standard setup, double adaptive, flat health, flesh snowball. Let's go. What happens with VIP? Nothing much. You just. I don't have ribbon. I don't have ribbon. You guys know good coaches? I don't have ribbon. Can I even buy ribbon? That guy is good. Mamma mia. Give me a second. Ich komme. Thank you, Dni, for the Prime. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's go, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quenks. How do I pray? Wednesday. Thank you Sorry, I wasn't here last few weeks. Bro, you don't have to apologize for not being present. Thank you so much for being here now. Thank you for your tier one and your generosity. I appreciate it, bro. Right, let's go. Good runes. Good luck, boss man. We're gonna go four long swords. Did you start playing a support type top laner because Riot always gives you the better team? Redactic. Do you think just because you're a mod now you're allowed to yap like that? Yeah. Alright, four long swords. Mother there is no bitch. Bro, I'm German. Say my name German. Schweinstein! Schweinstein! 
Schleichstein! Sorry. Okay, lass mal bis. Hope that worked. Morning, upright sumo. To see you, bro. Bro, uh, br uh, br what? Did you not look at the stream? Flash Ignite Resolve? I am Wench and Dead. You're a pig. You have Flash Ignite and Resolve. Bro is a pig amongst pigs. Well, at least he went four long swords. Okay, sorry, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. You just won't get VIP if you win. If. Kidding, bro. The gaming mob salutes you. You can't ruin your abilities in my face like that and EXPECT A GOOD OUTCOME! GG No play, bro MINUS 50k chat! Can I get some salutes? Can he leave? Please, please, please leave Please leave Don't keep me the game Voxel TOE! Box auto! Thank you. GG! GG, bro! Bro, be nice with him. Come on. It's all fun and jokes. But I just hit him with that one. Ted is taken. No, I am not gonna do more. I'm gonna queue up. Sorry, bro. I'm not gonna do more. No. No. Later, 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 later. Mods, can we please refund? I wanna play Shen. I wanna go. What an evil west! Yes, we refund, we refund mods. Hello, so if you want to play more Psychopath Chen, you can watch this video. Explain to the runes better, you like the German. That guy's a goat. Wish my German was that good, bro. Wish my German was that good. Du Ranch Klinge unter shit! Okay, sorry. My family's gonna think I'm gonna like start running for president soon, so I'm gonna shut my mouth. Shen biggest counter is like what is even his biggest counter? Ah, uh, Fiora's pretty hard. I think Gangplank can be pretty tough. More the Kaiser. Anything that like continuously out pushing him and stuff like that. Elawi, yeah, I can see that. I can see Alawi being pretty tricky. TP versus Ignite for Shen. I think Ignite is simply superior, so you get kill pressure. And I, I think playing Shen as a tank, and like, see the thing is, there's two ways to approach this champion, right? As I stated before, Shen is one of the strongest early game champions in the game, because his Q, you can have six Q stacks in a single skirmish or a single trade. You can prep three Qs, E in, auto attack three times, Q him again, and then get three more stacks, which is crazy. And there's almost no champions in the game that can um, stat check that much damage. And if you pair it with Flash Ignite, you get so much kill pressure. And then you just utilize your ult to expand your lead on good moments for your team. 
um, rather than just only looking to like, I don't know, be a receiving piggy and then just look to like get carried by your team. I like to play the champion in a more aggressive style. I think any champ player should. So yeah, there's my opinion on that. Um, Darius matchup again. What if you kill your opponent? They have TP. You're stuck. You're and you're low stuck in lane. Well, then maybe your all in was mistimed. I'm watching your stream until you play Udyr unranked to master top. So you never want me to play Udyr to rest the top. Rage of Spirits. I see. Oh, runes check. Oh, chat. You guys are the goats. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you. Chat. Do we go for this setup again? Do we go for the Psychopath setup again? Against Darius, I can see it work though. Because the thing is, chat, every Darius player thinks they are him. But they never expect to get out stat check. Da Shannon can actually beat Darius pretty easily. Unironically. Uh, especially level 2. So if I go double adaptive, D blade, I will legit destroy him in the early game. Like, I will kill this Darius level 1, level 2, and he won't expect it. He's gonna fight me, he's gonna be like, hmm, Shen does a lot of damage. Yes, we finished the York challenge, it's gonna be uploaded soon. We have first engage with Hecarim, I can always follow up with ult with that, so that's amazing. Sorry, Atalois, now please do it, smiley face. <laughs> yes, I will do the Doran's Klingon. What is that name even? Alright, let's go. <clears throat> the Darius is still outdated or not done. I still need to do some extra Darius games in the lower MMRs and two masses. I haven't finished into masses, honestly, so I need to do some more Darius gameplay, which is my mistake. The new Unranked to Masters takes a lot longer. Like, you need like 70 to 80 games before you need it like half. So it's a way bigger time investment. Alois, what a bronze should do to get good? Play one row, one to three champions in that row and start spamming. Preferably an easy champion to pick up, like Garen. So play Garen, play top lane only, play for 200 games, guaranteeing you, you will climb. Yes, Vayne counters Shen, really hard. Unless the Vayne sucks. How do you figure out the best build for a champion? Mostly asking for ranked. And well, there's a lot of ways you can look at certain content creators. But the two that I use, there's two tools that I use. You can go to Diplo and you just search for ranked. And then you search for OTPs. And here you see all the OTPs. So here this guy is Grandmaster in Korea. And I'm just going to search his page. And here I can see on ranked. I will filter it to ranked solo. Why is he not playing ranked? He stopped playing ranked. This guy does play ranked in, ranked solo. Here I see his ranked in game, and now I see build, I see his runes, I see the items that he went. That's one example. Another example is low VVV, and I would search ranked in, and here you can also filter it to matchup. So let's see, I want to know what people pick into Fiora. I would just go here, I see a relevant, really good top laner, really good ranked in player you see here. Okay, this was his rune setup, and these are his uh, items that he went. There you go. Alright. Unter! Damn, it's Unter! Klinge, Klinge, Klinge something. Alright, we're playing against Kisi Bastos with the Flash Ghost Conqueror Resolve Darius, but he doesn't know I'm playing the Psychopath setup. See, the thing is, chat, there is different champ players, right? And this is why scouting your opponent's setup in the early game is infinitely important. So, for example, when you play against a Jax, you could play against a Jax that's playing Grasp, D shoot flash TP, right? You can play against a Shen that's playing D shoot grasp flash TP. Look at this. I am Shen with flash ignite, D blade, double adaptive, and Darius might not check that. And then he's randomly gonna lose a trade here because he didn't scout my setup properly. So let's see. Stack three Qs, waiting to see if he's here. Okay. And now let's play aggressive. Did you win every game today, Yoke Larry? Yes. Oh, uh, no. Wait, actually, I lost the first game. Right, Chad. Let's see if he will expect my damage. Okay, his passive is out. 
Presence of Lane now. I get my level 2 first. Against Darius as Shen. Like I said, Shen is one of the strongest level 1 champions. Level up timers. Did I not tell you I would kill this guy level 1 to level 2? Didn't I not tell you? That's it. Doranshi! Oh, that was played. Sorry. Oops. And now we slow push this wave. Hard push that wave. Reset. GG. That's why you scout your opponent's setup level 1 chat. You check their runes, you check their items, starting items, and their summoners. I put two points in Q. Noob. Not noob. I lost my first game, but it was because chat distracted me and noob team. Alright, well played bot. Nice job. Alright, um, I think I'm going to go Boots, simply because it's Darius. Boots are amazing against Darius. Uh, I think this game chat, they have a lot of AP damage. I might go Anathemas, because it's so good against Evelyn, but let's see. Torrance Klinge Unterschied. Yes, I asked Expatu if he wants to coach me, so I hope uh, we'll have a nice session with Petu. Alright. And now on this bounce I have to be a little bit wary, because I have no idea where Evelyn is at. Hecarim is here, but Darius is still extremely square in the early game. See, I'm not sure about this gank, because I'm not entirely sure where Evelyn is at. Alright, we got both the sums. Bro, you did not have to use Q like that. that. That is... I won't say. Drag my blade through him. Again, so many players are not keeping track of that. He warded there. I'm gonna Q first, get three stacks, right? That's one stack gone. And I wanna hit him with it. One, two, E. Get Q stacks again. One, two, three. Bomba. So there, I had five Q stacks in one skirmish chat. Q delay on Riven. Q delay on Shen. Q delay, baby. Any Q delays in chat? Wait! Oh. Maybe I didn't have to flash, by the way, but... The thing is, the reason I flash is so I don't waste more time and I have more time to push out the OMGG. Runes? Here. These are my runes, boss man. I'm gonna go Tundra first so I can still control the wave. Could have also bought Tabis here, but I think going for a Hydra first is really, really good. Yes, I know you can get 6 and hand skews, I know. How does the stack work on Shen, if you don't mind me asking? Well, if I Q, you see I get 3 stacks here. And you see there's a duration. And for these 3 attacks, I will have a bonus damage on the target maximum health. Now, if my blade drags through my opponent, the damage is even amplified. And I will have 50% attack speed. So here, if I Q, I have 3 stacks, right? That's 1 used. Two, 1 on him. 2 on him. And now, if I would E and Q him again, I would basically have 3 fresh ones, right? But I had to be careful that because he was always taking his passive, so I don't think I would have won the fight. Because keep in mind, if Darius procs passive, he basically gets three long swords in his inventory. Worth of damage. Good trade. I'm going to keep slow pushing. To try and increase the odds of this guy walking up for the last, it's where he shouldn't walk up for. My ignite is back, so I have high kill pressure. Alright, he's have HP. His bone planting is coming back here. I'm tracking the cooldown here, right? I think the wave is slow pushing toward. Yeah, the wave is slow pushing towards him. So he's not forced to walk up for last, he's just at 6. My hacker is bot. If I do one small trade with him now, he's in dive range. But he's not walking up. Very smart by him. I have old now. I'm sure LS would be happy to see this. Oh 
almost got him. His Q healing saved him. Because I had five empowered auto attacks there with blades drawn through him. Man, my wave clear is so poo poo kaka, man. Okay, Avalon is topside. I only need the melees, I can leave the casters because my means will walk into turret range. And I have my Tiamat from it. So I'm gonna drip now. I'm not gonna stay for these casters. I'm scared to die to Evelyn and it will just ruin my tempo on the reset here. Casters give the least XP and gold, so they're not as important. Yes, the damage of shit is crazy. As long as you drag your blade through your opponent, keep that in mind. I have ult. I don't think he needed it. Sucks I can't cancel it. It's massive though, I get an Eclipse stack. Or Ingenious Hunter stack, rather. This one boss man. Maybe I should have made the wave crash, but all good. He has Bork right from that. Yes, sir. Alright, my AD is in a good spot. I only lose a full wave. It's alright. Because the Dar is already 0 2, and so far down is yes, so I'm happy. Also, if you look at Darius, he has spent zero gold towards his first item now. I only need 700 gold to have my first item, so he might have like Ruby Bristol Longsword the next reset. I'm gonna food TM uh, Titanic. I did use. Although. Alright, alright, we're good. I'm gonna drag my blade through him, slow him. Get extra damage, attack speed. Cannon. Ult him, baby. He ulted me. Evelyn died mid. Hacker, you have ult. Why did you not ult? What? Am I missing something? I needed that kill, the gold. It must be done. Oh, use the sums. That's just beyond strange. This is a cannon wave, it is. That's gonna give me 200 gold, so I have enough. I'm gonna hide my blade here. Darius might think I've recalled. Q first, get three stacks. Yes, Tabby's. Oh, come on. I hate my life and I hate his too. Kidding! Just hate my acronym. Oh, that's crazy, by the way. Yes, Tabby's. And he eat me when he's in melee range. So, like, the, the iteration that lasts longer. Money, money. Yo, they were a three. I just hit masters for the first time. Been playing on and off, but for the most part since season five ish. Okay. I should be incredibly excited, but I just feel like I'm still shit at the game and like I'm getting gapped all the time. Do you have any advice? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for the three and thank you for your generosity. Um, kind of feels like you're like, uh, how do you call it? Like, sin. How do you, I don't know what's the phrase for it, but you're like, kind of having. I, I know it's syndrome something, like, why don't you give yourself a pat on the back? What's your win rate? Do you, are you actually losing lane every time? Like, surely you're doing a lot of things right, else you would not be masters, you know, right? So, well done, first of all. Um, I don't know. Gain some, look, look at the positive sides. Imposter syndrome, yeah, that's what it's called. Like, you, you, you are doing a lot of things correct, else you would not be masters. Unless you've done like some transfer and uh, completely abused MMR and made it there that way, then I mean, maybe your uh, achievement isn't that impressive. We're gonna focus. Oh. Need wait for a passive shoot. That's why Hacker kept his ult shut. That's why Hacker kept his ult! That's why Hacker kept his ult. Give me this cannon. He knew, Hacker knew this would happen. I see it now. I see what the Hacker was looking for. I see it now.
Well, we have M4 and Genius Text now. Pretty good. I also said, remember, when I said I would have full Hydra and this guy would like have Longsword Ruby while he went Longsword Dagger. But this game is completely over. I've won my lane. Second all to bot lane. Counter gank there. This guy flushed. Their only way to get right now is this Vladimir Evelyn. And uh, we should be good. Just like Dyrus said, seven times challenger, six times world goer, and LCS champion, and still people come shit to the game. People will always find a reason to complain. Or to be negative. You can't make everybody happy. That's a lesson I'm learning as well. This guy's playing aggressive, which is weird. He should never play aggressive. He hard loses 1v1, he should know that. Yeah, that's what happens when you fight. Okay, so Evelyn was on grubs. Yo, Bartram underscore, welcome. Chilling. I have dive angle here, but I do have a fetch shot down. Do I'm I, I still wish waiting for unranked to master Mundo Alois NSLAM. E auto Hydra. Good combo, one shot him. Uh, thank you, Vergara, for the tier 1. I'm gonna put Mundo in the next pool. So I'm gonna put a tank in the next pool. It's gonna be Chogev, Mundo, Sion, maybe another tank, like Horde or something. So I put him in the next pool, bossman. Thank you so much for the tier 1. If I was Evelyn, what I'd do to win the game? Look for picks on three targets. Need a shutdown, something like that. I don't know. Hard to win the game from here for Evelyn. She needs to... Watch this. That's a good sidestep. For that land, she's dead. Doesn't Shen count as a tank? Well, actually, he kind of does, yeah. I want to drag my blade through him. Again, people don't know about this. Recall. If I'm Evelyn, I'm gonna look to make a play on the Azir, so I'm gonna keep my ult for that and look out for the two. I can get this rip off. I communicate with him on the way and my ult, because I'm sc Okay, Evelyn is here. If I deny Evelyn her place, she can't carry the game. Evelyn is our win condition, cancelling her like that. I It's worth for me to ult and flash on her. This is the only guy that has gold in our game. If I keep the her down, they have no chance to win this game. My Twitch dies there, maybe they get some control back, you know? With balanced decks. I'm gonna slow push this wave. And allow this next wave to walk through my lane. Azir with the insta FF vote once he gets solo killed by his opponent when the whole game is winning. Average League of Legends player. Hard push next wave, set up my reset. I'm almost in this per minute on shit, but I mean, I do have uh, Titanic Hydra, right? So it's pretty easy. I like this setup a lot. We need Vladimir, yeah. Mystic Poppy. What a name. This Hakram is sitting on a lot of gold. He's 5-1 and one and he's only spent this amount of gold. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Hakka gold? I'm gonna guess 2.3k. Ping it. Ping your gold, Randala Robert. I wanna see how accurate I am. Ping it! Piggy's AFK. Uh, I'll check in the replay. Oh, it's 3.1! That guy is Bill Gates! Never mind. Okay, Bill Gates, sorry. Yo, Eloisina, will you ban me if I say I love top? No. 
I won't ban you. I'll just know who you are. How do you play the first wave where you lose 1v1? Well, you should watch uh, almost all of my Yorick videos. I go, oh wait, I'm griefing here. Guys, I'm today we are gonna do a in the top lane. Just that him through his passive. Without ease. Or with ease rather. Mystic Poppy, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. It must be done. Get Tasis per minute there. Oh wait, they're coming back in the game. Their Evelyn got three kills randomly. And their Vladimir is a winning side lane against my Azir. This game's not over yet by any means. I need to not look for kill, a single kill on the Doris anymore. He's not gonna change the outcome in this game. Only their mid jungle will. Twitch gets ult here. Go! There we go. We can get mid tier 1 with that, both tier 1 as well, I'm just gonna cover, so if Vladimir comes we kill him with the Azir. I flashed. We're losing top turret. Can't do much here. Please don't reach me all the way here, right? No. No. Okay, thank you. Just gotta yell at him. Okay, 100 for my ult. We still need our last tech on the Vladimir. We got three dragons. Next objective is Nash. We control the game pretty chill. This is the thing, right? They have six grubs, but we have three dragons. So it's like so much more worth. I would always want two dragons over six grubs. Use both sums. So I go. I'm gonna recall and hover for my Azir again. Like you see, guys, I'm not looking to secure tier two turrets or sideways for myself. I'm looking to, uh, how do you call it? Um, I can't think of the word. I'm basically looking to help my teammates instead of playing for myself, right? I'm being in. Uh, I I can't think of English. If I kill them here, we get Nash. The W saves him, and we can do Nash. You got win slash thank you for the primer. That guy is good. Well, why can I not think of the word? Like, the word solidifier comes in mind, but that's not the word. It's like, um... No, an enabler comes close. Enable is good, yeah. Enable, I'm... A Looking to enable my team. I'm still looking for a different word, but I can't think of it. What do you think of Karma Top? I don't like it. Altruus is not a facilitator. There you go. I'm looking to facilitate my team. Thank you, Chad. If Evelyn steals this, I'm trying to be a facilitator, not be in play for myself. There you go. Facilitate my team. That was the word I was looking Hello, for. Guys. Oh, that's Hello. satisfying. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. It's Thank okay, you, boss. I one. love that you know who I am. Someday we'll see a vein top guide. Love you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Did the last time I played vein top? The last time I played a game of vein top, I got sick from. Bro, go in. Well, that's Ozzy's fault. That's my last deck. Did you? Facilitated my team well enough. Facilitated everybody. Solo kill top. I done two ults on this guy that were very crucial. There I come. Nice one, bro. Facilitated the Azir now. Shut down the jungle multiple times. Shut down the AD carry multiple times. GG. Good game. Very clean game, I mean. 
And like I said, killing the OM4 Darius will not change the attitude of this game. He's already useless. I don't care that he got my top tier 1. As long as I kept putting other teammates in their team behind. I put an Evelyn and Vladimir as much behind as I could. And again, I did not care about Darius getting a little bit of gold income. Because he was already out of the game completely. Uh, will there be a vein guide? Probably not. But who knows? The thing is, shit, who, like, I feel like I would harm more people than help people teaching people how to play Vayne Top. Does that make, that makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, why do we overstay? One minute to play for this. Yeah. On the mantle. Any tips to play Voli against Trindamir? I'm off rolled right now and dog at top. Thank you for the three, Misty Poppy. Um, don't fight level one. Trindamir will destroy you. Start fighting at level three and try to stick him with the mark, right? So don't lose your lane level one. That's my biggest advice for that match. Once you're level three, you can start winning. Thank you so much for the three, bro. And thank you for the tier one again as well. I won't mention it. Let's end this game clean. What if I donate $100,000 to make a vein top guide? Sure, bro. For $100,000, you make me do anything. Well, not anything. Let's let's keep it real. I won't cosplay Riven. GG. Yes, the volley. If Shen is banned one game, I want to try the drain tank volley build. Oh. Karma got it. Look at that. I'm gonna push on top, I think. Bro, 100,000 dollars, guys. That is life changing money. You get the most pristine, pristine, detailed vein guide that will ever be. I have ult. You don't have to worry. Shen is here. Oh. Let's go. Clean game. Clean Shen game. <laughs> the gaming mob. Get mobbed. Juju. For average Dutch house, you need to make 100k a year. Well, it depends where you live. $100,000 for you to never touch Riven again. Would you take it? That's a rough question. Probably would. Probably would. Uh, Master Glitch, guess it. No, I won't go Ravenous Hydra. Titanic is way better with your combo. You will make more than 100k with Riven. That's true, though. Like, if I go to Korea now, I can't play Riven anymore and stuff like that. Yo, thank you for the scam train, guys. I appreciate it. Alright, let's keep going. I'm not sure what to think of Shen yet. I like this build, though. It gives me a lot of pressure. Hello, it's... If I can ask you how to choose that nickname, I need to know people make such good nicknames, and I can't. <sighs> Well, Discord chose it for me. There is one legend called the Gaming Mop, and Twitch chat wanted me to go here. Is this the expect? No, I'm not expect to. What a noise. I'll give you a half eaten hot dog and two euros to play Vein Top. I think this is a great deal. If the hot dog is pork, I won't eat it all. First time here came from YouTube. How much for you to play Yorick next? Joker Dello, 
I played Yorick for 70 to 80 games last week. I finished Yorick. So, um... Hey, I don't know, you give me 20 subs, I'll play again Yorick. I'm down for that. You get 1 million, but you have to reach masses every split with Twitch support. Do you take it? In perpetuity? For like how for how long? For how long? Yes, I would do it. Twitch support isn't even that bad. Twitch support isn't even that bad. Bro, a million? As long as you live. What happens if I'm like 75 years old and I'm blind and I can't play League of Legends anymore? Twenty subs, then you play a champ of my choice. Depends, Felix. It has to be a top laner. It has to be a top laner, Felix. Sure, do, do. You just play via smell. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm almost betting my champion. So we'll be blind in two years. All right, piggy. It has been proven that you can play League without being fully capable. True, every range top laner. Void of love. Vayne is also a top laner. Well, well, well. Looks like I don't own it. Dude, I actually respect Akshan top players. That's a range top laner I can get into somewhat. Yo, Tommy, good to see you, bro. This is like if the calmest play my wall, Benjamin song I've ever heard. Yo, Tommy, thank you for the 21, bro. Thank you for the primer. Appreciate it, bro. All right. A demonstration of superior judgment. Alois, have you ever done a Timo guide? Oh, I've played a little bit of Timo, though. Smolder top, I haven't played against it too much, I've never played it myself, but I mean, against some matchups I can see it just scaling for free, so that's annoying. Don't tell me it's Smolder top now, no. Oh boy, can't wait for you to see how dog shit Shen is. Alright, alright, alright. Um, do we try D-Blade again, chat? I'm gonna keep trying D-Blade until people stop me so hard so I never play D-Blade Shen again. I'm just gonna go for the most aggressive setup in the early game. I'm gonna keep playing super aggressive. Yes, eventually we'll probably have a guide where we have went to master with every top lane champion. That is the ultimate goal, but it takes very long. It's like 70 to 80 games for each champion, so it's a very long process. Very long process indeed. Twisted fate in enemy team. Joker Dello, take him to T1, bro. Appreciate it. The reason I want Alois to say is because he's smart and people take him seriously. Alright, we can go with this playlist. Nah, no right. And this first song is good. Shen players ban Aatrox. I'm going to show you how to beat Aatrox. No, Cannon is not on the anytime soon list. Gotta be honest there. <laughs> He's playing Conqueror Domination Flash TP. All right. No. Ignitus. Yeah, that little skin looks pretty grim. The eyes above the camera. Mag Blizzard. My man. Man of culture. Let's go. Dude. I had fever last... 
month. And so I just uh, quickly had to do the Easter egg of Origins. Just to, you know, go back to the roots. Did Chuck take the primer? I have a feeling Amity wants to invade here. Can Twisted Fate, I just have a feeling. How long would it take you to get messed with a Heartstock Platter account? Around 90 games probably. 80, 90 games. E flash, uh, E flash. Sorry, I had to say it like that. Now I have used flash E, so my matchup is gonna be a little bit harder, chat. My matchup is gonna be significantly harder having E start and no flash. We do get a second potion and one ingenious stack already on twisted fate. That was good. And my Velcos gets a first blood. I'm gonna go for a different playlist though. This play is pretty good too. Let's go. I mean, my E is how much damage? 85? And it will taunt him? Let's see. I can still trade a little bit. Opinions on plus 80 minus 30 silver account that was split last season? Yeah, that goes into the trash. Press on. We have 2% to level 2, so that means we get... Oh, it's D shield, right? No D blade. So we had Conqueror Domination, but then also D shoot and TP, so a little bit mixed. I'm gonna hit level 2 from the first 6 minions here, chat. Passive shoot. So now I should have my E back by the time these casters die, and then I can look for a fat trade with them. That's a scare to discard the, the Aatrox. He's farming perfectly, though. So I go. He's gonna get it out now. Good. That's an amazing trait. Of course, trade it on his Q3 and I drag my blade through him to get extra, extra damage and attack speed. Lovely. You can almost set him up for dive range now with Ignite as well. Ooh, if that landed, he was in dive range. Like I said, Shen, Shen is one of the strongest early game champions, so utilize it. Don't play like, like scared in the early game, right? You gotta play aggressive in the early game with your champion. He needs two casts and he gets level four. So one more cast and he gets level four here. This cast gets him level four. Yeah. I'm just gonna get the medicine reset. Cause now we'll bounce. He's only nine CS shit. I'm gonna recall the second bush. He might try and cancel me, but I'm not here. And this wave is actually pushing back into me, even though there's two against three. Because his main waves arrive faster. That means his casts are gonna stay alive and the wave pushes back into me. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Nice. Cause look. These casts stay alive. Okay, maybe one dies, but now he still has four casts, and I only have three casts, right? So this wave is still pushing into me. That's why we just only get the melees and dip. Casts will help the bounce instigate, and uh, we're in a good position now. Kane fulcrate into bot. If you click on the Kane here, you see how his rep buff is expiring faster than his blue buff. That, of course, means he's done the rep buff first, meaning he cleared top into bot. My Uder is also taking his camps here, so very good. I can look to fight him, but the Aatrox is level 5, so it's not easy. Drag my blade through him. The wave is also a little bit large. I can't really thin it out. Wither is looking, but Kane is going to go back into the top side as well. I think we just get his flash and that's it. Yeah. 
I can do more. I wanted to back off. So the issue is I've lost half my HP and this is gonna base DP. Now the matchup is gonna get harder because there's more points in Q. And so his trades are actually, you know, significant, but he did flash there. And we do have a CS lead from the early game. He should TP. If he doesn't TP, he's lost the full normal wave. He's gonna lose the full cannon wave too. I'm thinning out as much as I can so I can hold the wave for, for a little bit longer, right? Because if I don't thin out, the wave simply gets too big and I have to like forcefully let it crash. It looks like the Atrox did not TP, which is a massive, massive blunder by him because, like I said, he's lost the full normal wave, but he's also losing the full cannon wave now. He's double longsword and a potion. We'll move in. This wave should keep pushing into me. I think he's out. Get level 6 from the cannon dying. So, oh, he's out. Nice. You can always ult. Don't think I have to. No, he's still in a good position. Nice. Very good, very good. This is all because Ajax didn't TP. If Ajax TP'd, he would have been able to push out the wave and he could have traded way easier. Okay, I uh. Give me to the wave. I didn't block his first passive hit, and his damage was just too hard because he had everything. That's good. And minus one. Don't type it. Don't type it. Don't type it. Don't type it. Don't type, it. Don't type, it. Don't type, it. Don't type minus one. Ah, first one I type message. Fundamental! Yeah, I have a fundamental for you too. Yeah. Okay, never mind, I would say it. Close. Sorry. Just close. We'll just say close, chat. Oh! Very close. Very close. Yeah, movement is nice. Very chill music. Depending on the mood. No, we, I haven't talked to Expert yet. We will, though. He is ult again. Good trade. That not hit. It's hard to freeze with TM out, right? Press on. I spam pinged missing. What do you want me to do? Reach out. Our wills align.
Kane is coming top. Alright, I like my position. Nice. Well, that was really shit. Okay, Airdrop staying for that plate. It locks him in lane kind of now. I could ult, but. I'm not sure how worth it is. Like, I lose so much for it myself, and I lose a potential kill window on the Aatrox, but I say, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it to ult there. But I've saved this mental and maybe made the cane upset. Not sure how worth. Really not sure how worth. When do you build boats? <laughs> in my free time, I'll build some boats every now and then. It's in my Dutch jeans to build some boats. Yes, Navitash and Seal. His name is Scenarios. Highly recommend checking him out. Wow, he flashes? I'm not really getting that many resources this game. Is this a Shen build? Or what is that TF build? Is this an actual build? Weird. He's TP, so I'm just gonna recall about this. Mild build this. We're still at NCS, but he does have three plates on me. It's pretty hard. Hello, is this my first time in the stream? I've been watching the YouTube and really enjoyed the vids. Keep it up. AC3 Orange. Thank you so much, man. They were kind words. How many tulips and windmills do you have at your house? Yeah, quite a hefty sum. On top of the fact that I uh, have uh, a lot of klumpe and a shit ton of cheese in my basement too. Right, it's full cleaver. I dodged everything. And I still lose a trade. Ah, uh, oh my bad, I guess. This guy's a really misplay to die to me. Oh, that W is bad news. Oh. My E was so close, I don't know. Yeah, uh, Food Lever just destroys me. Uh, I lost control of this lane pretty hard. I guess my food's hurt now. I don't think I'll ever be in a spot to beat him anymore now after this. Oh, uh, it's alright. We just gotta look for skirmish with the team. Oh. There is no dispute. Oh yeah, I can see why Shen players ban Aatrox for sure. I have ult. Nice.
I don't know how to get in this game. It feels like we're kind of slowly losing. And the Kane and Smolder Lulu just skill better than my team, than the champions on my team too. So it's hard. And we gotta just get outskilled everywhere. Unlucky, I don't know. Unlucky. Yeah, I might just start banning Aatrox. It seems like a super unfavorable matchup, and he's not even that hard winning. Like, I was ahead in CS the whole laning phase, but he just outstat checks me because I never have enough damage to win short trades. And there's like no, I, I can never E in basically. But I also can get a melee range without ing in because he just outranges me. So how do I approach this champion, right? I can get a melee range because he's longer range, and if I do get a melee range, my e wins too. So there's not really a way for me to win this matchup. Maybe I also need like bramble against the healing, healing. So I'm gonna go bramble with Akali. Where's my team? You're kidding me. You're not. Yeah, not much I can do about that. I have all tier two. Maybe I should have ulted faster, so I'm already here. Nice. I don't think my AD character should be this scared. I didn't have my flash, it was on one second cooldown. That is so disgustingly unfortunate because it would also give me another eclipse deck. That is so unfortunate, bro. It was on one second. I E and I spent flash, but I didn't have it, so my flash didn't come out. I, I, I'm down to FF actually. Bring me out of this one. Get me out of this one. I don't think we're winning. Alright, well, with you actually, FF. But I don't think we're winning. We're, we're getting outskilled everywhere and they're everywhere ahead, so I just don't think it's a winnable game. And this Velko says idiots when he was by far the biggest idiot, but it's fine, he knows. Bro, I I, I E flashed, but my flash was, I think, one second cooldown, chat. Genuinely, okay? Genuinely one second cooldown. Okay, I need to grab some food and some water. Someone call Azap? Nope. Nope. Well, we already have two losses. It's not going too well, chat. We have three wins, two losses. Well, uh, actually, I gotta give me one second, chat. I'm gonna turn on a banger video for like a synapse, sir. What synapse? What did I just type? There's no synapse. But I was watching an insane video earlier. You guys should watch it too. This video was so good. What is it? This was such a good video. This is one of the best videos I've seen. Like, I was hooked to this video, so you guys can enjoy it for a second. This guy is like one of the goat, most goaded. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Skybook player. Skybook is an amazing feature in Minecraft. Just watch it, okay? I'll be right back. I grab some food some and some uh, drink, and I'll be right back.
Yo, I see Twitch chat lined up. Oh shit, sorry. <coughs> nah, YouTube just recommended me this video. Same. This video is a banger. This video is amazing. GG. I watched the video already, so I'm reacting Andy now. Bro, my first impression on Chen is kind of just like I anticipated. You can't solo carry games, and I hate that. You're reliant on your team, and I dislike that a lot. How crazy is this? Like, how crazy is it what he's doing? Yes, Gangplank and solo carry games. Bro, I'm not playing as Aatrox again. Miss me with that champion. This is such a grinding session. I feel like there's also so many mechanics that you need to know about Minecraft to be able to pull this off. Sure, I'll give you less pick, piggy. No, Velvet, I haven't watched that. Yo, minimal switch. Crazy. What matchup do we get? No. Yeah, I can imagine. Teemo matchup, you have. Um, I'm gonna play TP. I don't think I can kill Teemo. Unless he's an ape. I'm gonna go scaling setup. We're gonna go scaling Shen. The scaling Shen setup chat. They are full AP topside unless the Teemo goes AD. He's grasp. Not sure. We don't have a ganking jungler. And we're playing against a Teemo. Flash Ignite, grasp. Domination, this guy is absolutely disowned by his parents and we have to focus, we have to lock in, that's why we go TP because I don't think I can kill him and I don't control the wave so I go TP to kind of, um, why not Tenacity? No, there's no Tenacity in any of my runes options. So yeah, um, let's go for this chill. Shit is good this one. Oh, 
Hollow Radiance first item or Rukern? I think Hollow Radiance is not bad, but do I want to go full tank? That's the thing. Could go fleet slash resolve D shoot to survive lane. Hmm. Well, let's see. <clears throat> yes, Frick you. I will be getting coached for Shen. Alright, let's focus here. So we're playing against Udyr with Hail of Blades in the team. Well, this might be AD Udyr that actually. It's most likely AD Udyr. And of course we got D-Shoot for the sustain. We have D-Shoot second win, so we at least have two forms of sustain. And uh, yeah, we're just looking to go even. That's mainly the goal. Petition for breaking Benjamin players so I can keep making breaking Shen Jamin jokes. We're keeping on this playlist. When is the Olaf on rank to masses? Your burrito steak? Not right now. Yes, we finished Yorick. Who did us here? You do not win against uh, Halo Blitz Udra, I think. I don't know why Viego thinks he can one v one Uder with Halo Blades and passive and does well, whatever. Uh, if th these are my carries, I already know what the game is gonna look like. Logic, explain your logic. Hello, Mister Alex. I watched your Yorick videos. Went solo queue, lost thirteen games. Any tips? Drop Yorick. Okay, buddy. Oh, what the? Wait. I I I I hard win this. There's Shen trading. Just one potion. I have passive shield for a stupid grass ball attack. And then the overtime take damage will keep rocking this shoot and second wind. That one is annoying. Still alright with what happened. I'm gonna block this auto attack again. Try and space in his range. Good. One trade hit is good. He's gonna hit level two. I gotta keep in mind that he's playing Flushing Knight though, right? That means grants me level two. <clears throat> Every time he hits me and IQ, and I like block the damage, right? With the passive shoot, but then this overtime poison is gonna keep proccing this shoot and second wind, so I actually heal from it. There's his Q. No. Your mother is, um. I won't say what it is. We at least have a freeze, right? This minion wave doesn't go into the turret, all of it. I don't know, chat. I, that's that's mildly frustrating, right? Mildly frustrating. He leveled up. Should have thought of it. If I had Flesh Ignite, I would just kill him as well. It's alright, chat. It's alright. That's a tilter. That's a tilter. Get a W and try to tank this minion wave. That's a bad W timing though. Yeah, like I said, at least the wave is good, but man, dying there is, is ugly. At least we have TP though. So like, Timo lost the full wave here worth of EXP. So in terms of EXP, we are ahead, but it's still very unlucky what happened, of course. Like if we kill the Timo, let's say we trade it, it would be super worth it. That's worth it. There's no potions. So now I can slow push this wave, hard push next. And if he walks up, he's gonna hit level 4 here. Yeah. 
I'm gonna wait for my level 5 and I'll let him probably. We're in a good spot now though, because he's walked up to my E. The bounce there when he was level 3. That was my level 5. Two things I can do. No, I cancelled it! It's okay, I did lose the cannon for it, but I got his flash. Here, if he stays, I'll dive him. If he recalls, this wave will crash and bounce back into me. So regardless of what happens, I'm in an amazing position. Timo is just a greedy pick for if I've ever walked up here. But what Timo could do is be standing in this path. So we're going to act like I'm walking away and see if he's actually here. Yeah, that's what I thought, you disgusting little piggy. That's exactly what I thought. Okay, it's an execute. It's an execute worth. And this next wave goes into the turret. I knew it! I knew he was in his passive! I knew it! Piggy. And next one goes into the turret. <clears throat> you took my Shen, man. Oh, oh sorry. But you got a win for Shen Honor. Bro, I swear Shen probably has like the most wholesome community out of any champion in the game. Shen is probably the most wholesome community in the game, by far. Can I get a true? I shouldn't lose too much HP, because the more HP I lose whilst he's pushing to me, the harder the bounce will be to play. I don't have any priors, so I'm gonna just ping away. I'm gonna just allow this wave to access my wave, I don't mind it too much. I need boots too. Good trade. I need boots though. Uder could look for a gank on me. And it would be a really bad timer to die. I hit my Q on him there. I need tier 2 boots. I probably need uh, boots of swiftness. I can't crush this wave before next wave, so I gotta slow push this. And hard push next wave. Who did this here? Yeah, LZ wouldn't pop like that. Oh, I'm still dead. Ah, uh, but at least they cleared the full wave, so I don't really lose much. At least, at least, at least. They also have to push next wave, I think, before... No, they do get it to crash. Well, it's alright. I don't lose anything, really. It sucks, but it's alright. I got the plays for you here. Uh, there you go. I think I need the tier 2 boots, so I can actually just catch up with my E. I think instead of this, I should just bought tier 2 boots. Probably got a kill with them. Spiving boots. But maybe all in the team was a better play there, because there's a world ride that actually maybe killed him. But then the wave would have been in a bad spot. I mean, we're fine. We're still CS up somehow. I'm gonna have to pee again. I got hard push this wave though. Nice. He's gonna walk forward here. Yeah, he knows to not walk through my blade, right? Because he's a shed man himself. He's running out of mana though, because he's grass Timo. He's no way to sustain his mana. There's a me and there's a shroom there, yeah. 
I have tier 2 boots in base. I think I should just genuinely recall for the 10 by the tier 2 boots. And I don't have to TP. I can always ult here on somebody if there's a fight that can happen. I just buy these. Or should I buy cooldown boots? Cooldown boots, let's go. It's greedy, but I like it. Slower cooldown on ult, lower cooldown on summers. I think it's so important. Yes, Zix, thank you for tier 1. Thank you for 15 months. How many years is that? Five? No. This is an amazing ult. That's one stack. Two stack. Already walking here in case she flashes. Nice. Two stacks for my team. This is exactly how I want to play Shendo, right? Winning skirmishes like that for my team is what wins the game. I don't need gold for myself and the Zoe is pushing into me so I don't even need to TP. And with the flash, I get lower cooldown on my flash and my ultimate now. So that's very good. Amazing. My jungler is fed. Good. And I have three ingenious. I only need Syndra and Jin. What is pushing into me? We're still ahead in CS. See, I, I, I hate being a facilitator, but that's what you need to learn to become playing Shen. Yeah, it's four years. I was scared to go with Doris Kling and Untershit because it's a team all. You have free thing for primer. Are you looking forward to your Teemo top arc? High key? Yes. I wouldn't mind playing Teemo top. Champ is fun. I don't right-click farm. Because you can see your opponents getting tilted every time you right-click them. Oh, there's a shroom there. We're in trouble. Am I dead? He's ignite. Even the primus bros. Tread carefully. Yes, nice. He dies on my turn as well, so he's gonna lose so many means here. This is amazing. How's my bot lane get die? Because they dove and they died whilst diving. Nice. Can I please get place myself? Thank you. Follow me on YouTube, please don't. We're still somehow 30 CS up on the team. Why that guy is just not good at right clicking? Maybe because he's a Shen player, he's not used to farming or what? I've still just went for Titanic, I guess. Yes, I'm gonna get Oracle now. If I had all that old, but that is such a bad play. My entire team is losing, actually. I'm the only one that's winning. And that's really bad news, because it has to be my team that carries me this game, not me that's gonna carry my team. After the old play on bot, I thought my team would be fine, my jungler was fed. But, uh, unfortunately, my jungler died diving their bot lane, and now we lose at the dragon fight, and the full authority Udir is scaling. I didn't buy sweeper. I hit a man. Okay, doesn't matter. The CDR boots popping off there though. Without CDR boots, I would have had my E already. I had a man once. That made it scary though. I have ult here. Oh my days. I pressed ult. I pressed ult, but. Ah oh, shit. I had to cancel my recall if I wanted to old. And I wanted to get the recall off. That's why like I was a, like I have like a my macro second too late. Well, I trolled him, bro. He missed his flush QW if he lands it, he just wins the 1v1. No, I'm not gonna say sorry. It's still his mistake. Teamers might face check this. Nice. We 
We have to kill this guy. Okay. It's gonna be me that's gonna have to carry Shen carry against Timo. I have 40 sits up against Timo, man. But my botlet is losing again. Ah. Bro, I have a turret as Shen against Timo when I've altered away from my lane twice as well. And it kinda the pressing. Well, we're gonna be trying to get this game chat. Say sorry to Ori. No. Oh. But I also really know how to itemize on my champion. Like, I feel like I probably shouldn't go full damage this game, but I'm going to because I feel like I have to carry as well. I know there's like a shroom here somewhere, right? Yeah. No. I slowed him. Nah, I misclicked. I got me unblocked once. Got rid of his flesh though. That might kill him one or two more times. Him just not having flesh. I think he's in this bush. That taunt landed, it would have been the goat. Again, killing the 2 and 4 Teemo is not really gonna change the outcome in this game though. I have to not kill to kill the Teemo, or play to kill the Teemo. I have to kill to play their bot lane or, or their mid lane, I guess. Because my entire team is losing again. Which makes the game hard. At least my shutdown is gone. Or what's most of it at least. Oh, yeah, I was gonna collect this wave on bot. FTP in 20. I'm just gonna move with my team because Timo has to push this wave and this wave and probably the next one before he reaches my turret. And he's playing with Ignite, right? So we can win a fight here. It can be good. I have to make be the difference maker here. Uder has no flash, so he's a free target. And Syndra might not have flash. is a very successful player. Can we flank it around for this Udir? Is he in this bush? What is he? Wow. I don't want to shut down. Should I have taken it? Nice. I lost my full turret. Go in! Ah, it's gonna be too hard to carry these teammates. She's running away. I was about to say, if you leave me hanging here, I'm legit. Tired of your shit. <sighs> it's Simo just getting the freest game ever, man. Six grubs and he just gets to push waves because... We, that was a 4v5 fight. Well, at least we get the dragon and we've gotten their shutdowns. So that's something. That's all me! I have to do everything in this game. I have high skill participation as a top player. Whilst having to solo kill my top lane, well, enemy top lane, they counter pick me. And then I also have to split push. I have to do everything! But my champion can't do everything, and it's a reliance on teammates. Mamma mia. Oh, he turned that fight well, though. Wait, I just realized you get energy back when you hit things. Like Lee Sin. Why did I not realize that earlier? That's important to know. But I might catch the Syndra here before she reaches bolt. 
That makes sense that the interaction works like that. She might not know that I stay here though. So you gotta try and QW this. Maybe I can move to play, can play on mid. No. Oh. She should definitely win against the Timo. Nice. Okay. My Oriana is back in the game after that. Solo kill XP on her as well. I don't know why this guy's going Blade Rune King. T -t to shred who? Why do you go Blade Rune King? Mr. Superior, thank you for Prime. That guy is good. Oh, you should to learn well. The kid is very simple. Is it okay to be a piggy? It's okay, brother. I know what it's like. But why Blade Rune King? Who are you, like, looking to shred health from? No health? Almost no health? No health? No extra. Udo is going for full one shot build with Halo Blades. I have ult. There you go. That's how you carry games in the champion chat. I gotta be a facilitator. So I steal a side wave. No, but I give him a kill. They ha hey, this guy has to be happy with my presence, bro. I'm, I'm the reason he's in the game. Careful. Now I gotta stop this team all. The benefit of this game is that I'm at least winning against team on side lane. Because if I wasn't winning the side lane, this game would be unplayable. I can at least always get priority. My Viego's coming. Where's the W? I think he kills. And he flashed. So it's gonna be 26-30. Dude, I didn't know when you hit means or like things, you get energy back. That's so important to know. I'm not gonna TP yet. This guy's dead. Greedy piggy. It's a hard game to carry, but we're doing our absolute best here. Oh. We shouldn't fight when Ori is dead. We should just play for this. Timo is a very free target for everybody in our team because there's no flash. My mid has two items now, my AD carry has two items. We give them some shutdowns, right? Yo, South Nota. Good to see you. Yo, Merod. They have very fast Baron. We have no blue drink. Oh, Syndra's here at least. Why is it me and Milio that are doing Dragon and Viego's here? Strange occurrences here on the map. I have ult. Um, maybe didn't need it, but it was hard to anticipate. Syndra's... Oriana, you have a job! At least execute it! I have to do everything! I gotta be a dragon! I gotta protect the side lane! I gotta do everything for these pigs! Sorry, it is frustrating, man. Did, like, why did Oriana not at least defend the top tier 2 then? That, that is your only job there. One job. They are so lost on the map and it's hard because the thing is, normally I wouldn't care that much about my teammates being lost because I can just do my own thing. But now I, I need to rely on my teammates playing the game. It could be an alcove. Just have a feeling. Hmm. Ooh, they flash there, so it's gonna be 28-10 something jungle. Well, you know, since we're like platinum and I'm already losing my mind, bro. This is the sixth game or something. 
It's so hard to win games on this champion. I do feel like the high elo I will get, the easier it will be to play Shen. Because my team will know what to do on the map. But right now my team is so beyond lost that it, it, it's so hard to carry. I have to carry from a facilitator. It's like being a support and like having to carry the game basically. Right, I don't want resources, but I need them because my team can't carry. I'm somehow still like four levels above this team, oh. Okay, did Syndra flush on them there? Yeah. He has no flush. So my jungler should be able to kill him. Why does he blind me? I'm scared to make this call even, honestly. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, Oriana's just dead. We just let Oriana die, we get Nash. That's a fine trade. That's such a weird decision by enemy team. Look how fat this Udi is becoming, though. Ori says free Nash like she did something. Of course, Lucian Renly finds, a, finds the one way to die. I just... I just have to do everything. I got a cut of her path, her escape path. She has no flesh, so... Okay... Jin flesh as well, so we need that timer. How, how hard is this game, chat? How hard is this game? Okay, well we get a carry timer, so it's gonna be like... 30, 30, 50 AD, something like that. I'm still four levels above their team OS, so we're so much chest above. Oh. Yeah, chat, is there a build on Shen that can carry harder than this items? Because it doesn't seem to be enough to carry these piggies. Like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry for my complaining. It is just so frustrating to be a facilitator and not have a single. It, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm a facilitator, but I can't facilitate because there are piggies. Professional piggies. I'm gonna go for this. Okay. Well done. My team actually did something. I respect it. I appreciate it. And they're dead. Nobody's blocking anything either. Viego died to Udir. I don't know, it's a TP, I don't want to give him a tier 2, he would just simply get too much money. Okay, next dragon is Soul. <laughs> Walk! Fight! You can't be human! I'm actually losing my mind! That, that... I, I can't. At least I've been stacking dragons with my team. Okay, nice. He smurfed it. Uh, okay, well, we should get the soul. That's good. Udra and Timo Flash. Very important timers. I'm sorry, chat. I lost my mind a little bit this game. It's hard. It's hard, hard to carry games on the champion. We're gonna have a lot more frustration. This, see, this is why I, I just... I don't like this place though. I want a champion that can carry the game by himself. I don't like playing tanks or facilitators in solo queue. 
Or is that flash timer? It's 33-30 jungle and like 33-50 top. It's so hard to be a facilitator when your teammates are clueless. I don't know what to compare it to, but it's like peak frustration. You have to be very patient. You have to be a patient soul. That's for sure. How does Expecto keep his cool? Have you ever heard that guy's voice? That guy is just the epitome of... of calmness. That guy is, is just calm. I'm not. I'm really not. I don't have enough patience to play Shen. Yes, Yurik is finished. Smile. Okay. Well, we're actually in a good position now. We have soul because I've been there at every dragon, right? I've kind of secured the last three dragons. Udi lost flash. Toplane lost flash. My mid and AD carry actually have three items now, so that's good. So we've gotten somewhere. Carry on shit is tricky though. This Udir one shots people, but he's gonna have Edge of Night soon. I can't wait on him easily though, because I just press W. Okay, so after Syndra pushes this wave, I think she's gonna walk like here. So I can maybe find a pick on her. Doesn't look like it. She walked like this, unlucky. Uh, it was either or. Looking too old, right? Nash is at 45, so I hope my teammates don't get caught. Play Nash. I just don't want it to die. Or is no mana. If I get this wave, I'm gonna have Eclipse, so I'm gonna be full built. Just need to not lose this. Alright, got Eclipse shed, we're full built. Solid. There's no no flash. No F. I have a TP here. Maybe I should have stayed actually. Oh. He's dead. No right. He's fine. Let's do this. Dunash, stop chasing. Team. We should be able to do this without them being able to get close. Udir is way too far. And he has no flashes. So Udir can't like go over this pit. He can only walk into the pit, right? It's really important to know about like uh, immobile junglers. If they don't have flash, they can't really reach the pit. So Solid. I'm gonna prepare the top wave. For the bros. Actually, you just farm it. I'm already full built. <clears throat> Don't get caught. Lucian has built a shit ton of magic resist. I'm gonna prep the bot boy first. <clears throat> she has Zonyas, this is Edge of Night. They have flashes coming up very soon. Viego, why are you bot? Why is Oriana not manaless? Again, I gotta be the one reacting. Mana! Oh! Ain't no way! Oh, she's running out of mana. Well... That's good though. I think that can hopefully win us the game. I don't know why she's already sieging without mana, but we did so much there. I almost made it out of his life as well. Jin's gonna be almost fulfilled that though. I, I just hope it's enough.
Mm, I probably should switch this now to like Mercs. It's probably best. I'm gonna play for Elder M40. All right, chat. This fight is gonna be all about it. Shenza, that's a good one. Yes, fast E, I guess, for a fast shoot. Yes, Domacha, you are precisely right. Okay, they have sums again on Udir. My teammates have four items. Four items here, four items here. So they should be strong. This guy is uh, four as well, four as well, three, three. So realistically, I think we're just stronger here. Hoppers on the sky, not that much. Just start the Elder. If he's going topside, we just do Elder. I don't think I should alter. We should just do Elder in this time. This Ori just keeps dying on silent for fun. It's... Okay. It's okay. Guys, do you remember the game with like the Ezreal and the Aurelian Soul? That's just how I'm feeling again. Like, it shouldn't be hard to win this game, but it is. I'm gonna stop this guy from pushing my side lane. What? But our elder is useless because people got caught. Hi, long time champion. I hate that build. Well, what build would you recommend me to go in these type of scenarios? I can't carry the game. I need to do a lot of damage because my teammates are not doing the damage for me. I shouldn't take that, I'm already full built. Uh, again, I need my teammates to make a decisive play at Nash. Hopefully they make a good play. It's so funny that you can taunt jungle camps. So, boots for Garden Angel. I think the boots are better. I don't think Garden Angel is going to change your fight. Well, everybody's like full built now, so it's a matter of who plays the best. Or needs to be more chill with her mana. She, this guy has no way to manage her mana every time. There's like so many like most blatant stupid things that I can't even consider mistakes, but they're just making it. Like this guy's running out of mana continuously. All right, we're finally grouped as five. Or or Syndra has gotten a rabbit on, so she one shots people now. Timo is both with Ignite. Wait, we should just go. Lucian, please don't dime it. This is our third Nasher, by the way. Who did his bot? Go. Ah, Adrico. Yeah, it's again a 40 minute game because my teammates just don't know how to end. I give them three Nashers, I, we have soul, we have everything they would want, but it's it's so hard to win games, I can't, I, I'm gonna stop it, because I've been saying this for like a million times now, what is that guy doing? This can be good. Okay. Nice, we found it. Thank you team, finally.
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have highest CS in the game as Shen, and I've barely been side lane. I, I just don't know what went wrong this game, generally. If I expected my teammates, I probably, like, I probably just get so much rage. Alright, we won it. Holy moly, like, that's what we have to do to win a game on Shen. I, I don't know. There's so many, so many in things that happen that it's crazy. We won, we won, but at what cost, Shen? This guy played half decent. I probably have max damage too this game. Well, very close. As, as Shen into Teemo, max gold earned by a, like, a long mile. Those are just like, and, and, and remember, I'm a facilitator, right? I, I, I'm not, I wasn't playing for my own resources. I wasn't split pushing to play for turrets. I wasn't consciously looking to farm jungle camps the way I would on Yorick or any other bruiser. I was trying to facilitate my team the entire game. Give shutdowns consciously, move from side wave to play for dragons and that kind of stuff, right? I wasn't playing for myself. This, this challenge is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a hard challenge. I already know. If I'm struggling this much around this... But honorably, though, I think the higher level I get, the easier it's going to be to carry games. Because, again, my teammates will know how to play. Yeah, well, Chair Mushkin, the kind of fear that I have is where I'm going to be relying on a team. Yes, Titan authorized. We have finished Yorick yesterday. I like Shen as a champion, by the way. I like Shen as a champion quite a lot. I think his kit is amazing. The problem that I just have with Shen, and it has always been his issue, is that you are a facilitator. You win most of your lanes, or you can win most of your lanes. He's a really strong laner. It's just so hard to carry, man. Like that game, I had to break my back five times to be able to carry it. Yeah, I I've sent Pet to a message. I've sent Pet to a message. We'll probably be able to do a session with Petu. I mean, Petu was one of the first content creators that really helped me out when I started. Like, he gave me a lot of shout-outs, and he's been super generous to me since basically forever. So, uh, I do think we will collab. Have you tried playing Egotistical Shen? It just doesn't work. It's it, egotistical change just doesn't work. You need to team fight. You you are not good at split pushing. You can't really push turrets and stuff like this. Sure, Emrys, I did get solo killed by the team. I can, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. But that doesn't like I was nine k gold ahead of the team individually. I was four, thirty CS up in a matchup where I shouldn't be ahead. My I got ganked by Uder as well. It's like. I get your point, but I still, I, I really disagree. I don't think Timo had a single point of impact in this, in this game. <clears throat> Let's just blind pick, see what we get into. I might play more TP instead of Ignite, because it was very good in the late game, that I could actually hover a side lane, push it out, and then TP as well. Uh, Ignite gives me more kill pressure in lane, which is really nice, but in mid to late, having TP is so good on this champion. Yeah, I, I, I would, I mean, I said I'm gonna do a tank next, but I figure that Chen is actually a tank, so I'm doing a tank now. I'm playing a facilitator now, so yeah, I, I'm not gonna do a tank after this, actually. I'm gonna do a bruiser again, like Olaf, Trindemir type champion after this one. Urgot, maybe. Urgot is also a fun one. Hollow Radiance is better on Shen. A team. If enemy team is AD heavy, it is better to go Titanic first than Iceborne Gauntlet. Trust it's way stronger. I could I definitely could probably uh, itemize better, yeah.
Vein top, strawberry burst. You were slapped in the face. Kidding, bro. In game. Blitzcrank E in game. What were you learning against? Heimer? Ah, oh, get me out! Hello, I gotta learn against the Heimer! Chair Mushkin, thank you for the You know what I'm gonna do, chat? Ah. Uh, do I go. Nah, I'm gonna go TP. Chat, this is. The, we're, we're gonna suffer, okay? But prepare. Shen, prepare to die edition. It's not gonna be fun. We're gonna get perma pushed in, and I'm going to be. Bless you. Whoever, whoever, wh where, wherever you are, bless you. Bless you. All right, chat, let's um, tilt by watching this video. Genuinely one of the most entertaining videos I've watched for Minecraft. I like Skyblock, it brings me back to my childhood. This guy's playing hardcore Skyblock, and all he had was his 64 starting block, so he's getting everything from mobs. Amazing. So he's gotten his first emerald because a wolf can spawn with an emerald in his mouth with like a 1% chance. So he's the goat. Yeah, I've watched Primitive Technologies, that's a good channel. But I'm scared to watch these very big channels like the Outer Boys or Primitive Technology because the other day, you know, I upload my full votes to the second channel, right? I got a copyright strike from the Outdoor Boys, so I'm not gonna watch this content anymore, like genuinely. I don't understand why I would just get a copyright strike. I left for two minutes to grab some food while, with this video on. I've legit sent so many people to his channel that boom, instant copyright strike, so like whatever then, okay? I just won't watch the content anymore. Kind of sucks, but it is the way it is. I'm just gonna perm an Atrox, by the way. Scion ban. I'm gonna see if I can get last pick. The clients, all right, whatever. <laughs> so crazy. This video required so much effort. I didn't even know foxes existed in Minecraft. Scare quarter. Do you will do a Darius on rank two masters? I started one, yes. In, we still are to finish it. I, I I basically most of the content ready. It's just a matter of playing the lower elo games, and then I can release it. I'm gonna release the Yoda guide soon, and then we'll release the Darius soon after that as well. Um, what am I laning against here, chat? I ain't got a clue. Is it at least top somehow? Size jungle? I don't know. Brand jungle probably. Brand support at least. I I don't know. I'm just gonna go for this setup, the cringe setup, and hope it works. Yo, shocks on Twitch. Welcome, boss. So that's the second dodge. That blows. I've done a ready to video, Mr. Kud Ninja.
you, the thing is, you always wonder, is it staged or did he actually get this right? Because, like, it's such small odds, but yeah, you never know. But it's so much effort, so I kind of believe it. I don't know if you recommend comment on this, but if you play Nautilus, so should you go tank or AP? Tank. Tank for sure. Quick ep epilepsy, some... Gragor top. I think we just play this setup and look to scale with him. Like, I'll scale pretty good in this game, I feel like, with items. I feel like I'm gonna be pretty unkillable against the champions. Do you actually count the means to the enemy takes to know the level of timers? Yes. But it's like a habit, right? Because the thing is, once you know exactly how many means people need to get a certain level up, it's just a matter of, like, pattern recognition in the sense that X amount of means give you that level up. So let's say on the second wave, or let's say on the third wave, he only needs two melees. I like, I don't have to count. I just know that, okay, if he kills this second melee, I know exactly when he's going to hit his level up. So it's more so a matter of just knowing the level of timers by heart. So yeah. All right, so we're looking to scale. We're still in gold, platinum, yellow. Today has not been... This, this challenge is going to probably take a little bit longer. Probably meaning most definitely... Because you're not a carry champion. Remember, chat, we are a facilitator. That's okay. Let's try to make use of our early game strength nonetheless, even though if TP Chen is a way stronger early game champion than Gragas is. Um, so let's utilize that. How many minions from the third cannon wave do you need to hit level 6 so you don't lose XP? The wave that comes in at minute 5, so it walks into your lane at minute 5, that wave, if you get it exactly, will grant you your level 6. So, there you go. I don't want to give him his mana flow for free. Taunt Flash. I respect this guy. This guy is the homie. I absolutely respect him. Mind controlled. I had to flash away from that danger. I had to flash away from it. What a king. There's no way he knows I'm streaming, by the way. He's just a giga chat. Like, this is just a regular day for this, Gragas. I respect him. No energy to Q. How did I run out of energy? I had to alter him there. I'm losing control of the lane because I have traded pretty poorly.
That was good. I dragged my blood through him, so. He's gonna level 4. I can't do anything here. At least neither of us have flash. Alright. I'm gonna ult the wave here. He knows. I TAUNTED HIM! YOU EVEN HEARD THE TAUNT LAND! I was so close to level 4. Oh, he deserves it. He's still a giga chat. It's okay. Focus. Relax. You're learning, Alois, you're learning. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning, chat. This Gargus is in my head, by the way. Like, my mind has been controlled. I, I can't say anything other than that. My mind is absolutely controlled. He built Sheen? Why? Only he knows. That was a good trade. He's close to six. Why is my Jax only farming and only 22 CS? Did he get like invaded? How's it 26 to 39? Is he just really that slow at clearing? By the way, I just realized when we flash traded, his flash comes back way faster than mine. Because he has the rune and I don't. <laughs> so I actually benefited from that. Getting a kill here. Oh, the game is looking roughy McToffy, and there's a plant in the river. He's not even going for it. He is flesh already, by the way. Kazis could gank me here, which is what I'm afraid of. I'm getting spaced so hard by this guy. He's a freak. He's close to level 7 now. He's better. He is just better. Like, he is genuinely just better. I can't... No. I don't know. I, I just go this out of respect for him. We just gotta look to scale chat. I don't see any other way to this game. Okay, mid lane is a win con. Mid lane is a win con. Mid, mid lane is a win con. Honestly, chat, I like that I lose. I actually like that I lose. Because for the first time, I cannot point fingers at anybody else. I just got completely destroyed by this guy 1v1. So if we lose this game, I can't say, uh, or Steam Gap, or Strong Gap. Like, I, I lost my lane, okay? Like, so I'll take it. I'll take it. That's better than the games we had before. I'd rather have this scenario, and now I can just learn from it. Let's see if we can get back, though. I'm gonna have to force some scourges for my team. To get back in this one. Copium suck my fat nuts. I'm not coping. Alright! Can I farm though?
O. Chat. Chat, 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 chat. Save me. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. Like, someone save me. There's no point to hold that. Is this measure bad for me? I feel like it's a fine measure. I think this guy's just destroying me. You disrespectful piggy. No flesh. No. What do you want me to do, bro? Is he gonna push? No, please don't push. I need to push next wave. Bro, I yeah, grief me too. Because you're gapped. Well, I'm gapped too. Why well, his E timing was perfect on the Jax Q. It definitely upset the Jax player. Go in. Easy. Easy. I see your flash though. Okay, well, it's something. It's honest work. You are becoming TF Blade. Maybe I already am TF Blade. Maybe I'm your mom too. Why do you taunt Kragas on the turret? <laughs> Yeah, just race card away from me. Bro, who is this man? This guy is a threat to society. This is not your average platinum, Joe. Try to cancel my cannon in two. Here, I got some medicine for you too, piggy. Kidding, 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 please don't get me. Please don't take me down. With I dodged it. It's not enough though. He still just kills me. His flesh is coming back. Mama? Oh, I blocked it. That's not enough though again. But at least I blocked it. I didn't die. Free heal is not that good on this gameplay. I'm j oh, this guy's just in my head like... And I, he's like toying with me. He just likes to annoy me, this guy. I respect it though. Anti heal chat. If if I if I see one more anti heal in my chat, like it, it, people talking about anti heal again, like I swear people have no idea. Like anti heal is like the, the the solution to everything for people or something. 
Moments that passed away, buy and teal. Fever, just buy and teal. Yes, I got a piggy. What is he doing? This guy has been one of the most mechanical players I've seen in this MMR, but then he makes this decision. Oof. Oh. Go, 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 go. Nice. I get one Eclipse deck. It's something. It's honest work. We're doing honest work out here, chat. I'm not sure what to itemize, though. Mercs will definitely help out. Okay. <coughs> We're building full... But this is like AP, AP, AP. And we just need armor against these two. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, but what we're doing currently. What I actually find in the game now again... We need... Vladimir and Shaco. F King Monkey says the one for Jax. This Jax is the lo least delusional player I've seen thus far. Have you considered anti-heal again, then? You considered, um... Shutting the hell in your mouth? Buddy? He's platinum 49% win rate, this Gragas. Well, he's one of the better mechanical players I've seen in terms of spacing. Like, I genuinely could consider this guy a smurf. Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. What? Like, this, this guy is in my head, bro. He's trying to mind control me for sure. For sure, for sure. Bait it. I want to dive him, Jed. I know he has no flesh and no ult. I want to dive him. But if I die, I will be so embarrassed. So I'm not going to dive him. Like, I'm too scared of the consequences of the potential... Out Nah, I don't, I'm not gonna get my. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like, give him that satisfaction of actually being able to just say mind controlled or something. I just can't. I can't let it happen. We have Jinx Azir scaling. So, in the rules of Azep, it states that you do not FF when there is scaling in the team. So we're not gonna FF this one, chat. Regardless of what happens, Jack skills Azir skills, Jinx skills, Cyrus skills. We're not gonna FF this game, ever. It's not allowed. It's in the rule book. We got right above 18 seconds for ult. I'll ping it to my team. So they know. I want to expect some uh, guidance. Uh, I want to kill this guy, chat. There's a Kha'Zix here, isn't there? Oh, it's a Shaco. Chat, I want this guy's ass. Will he predict my fleshy chat? Will he? I feel like he will. Will he predict the Jinx rocket? Will he predict my schlong in his mouth? Oh, who's that guy? And he XDs me. Nah, you are a pig. Buddy, you are a pig. That guy's just the best, man. Oh, I can't stand it. It goes La Bomba. And guys, 49% win rate platinum, but somehow has the spacing of like a master player at least. This guy's probably just playing this game for fun. Actual for fun player. 
Like, look at that. He's predicted all my E's throughout the entire game already. Perfectly, by the way. Like, that, that is not the average Platinum 49% win rate mechanics. Genuinely. Like, I'm not even capping with anything I'm saying. I think NT would be good. Why is that legit? So many first time chatters talking about NT. Like, genuinely, it's, it's upsetting. I'm not going old. He's just dead. Whatever, chat. Everything has mind controlled me this game. I don't know. No, I've never went skiing or snowboarding. Never had the opportunity. Something I'd like to do, but never really had the chance. Label. Uh, wait a second. I just looked at my in, in the inventory of my eyes here. Chat, there is some. Uh, some um, inconsistencies in the items of my Azir. I'll take the 1k. We're scaling. Are you guys getting pink warded? Go abyssal mask after titanic. I need armor. Look, I have so much magic. I need something armor. Something armor centered. This is probably pretty good. I don't know, I just got humiliated this game, I'm gonna be honest. My team is pretty shit again, but... Yo, finally, when I play a champion where I actually want my team to be good sometimes, I'm playing a game, like, I play with team deficiencies every game, I feel like. Wait, I'm one one this guy so easily. I mean, I have a lot of magic resist. But, like, he's 3-1. Hello, guys, I'm Aloy. 10 Dark Seal Stacks. Kind of feel like I'm beating him. Probably not. Time to run. Well played, bro. Your mom's a pig. Kidding. In game. FF. FF. Never mind. We have frozen right as here. Angie's going. Magic is next. We're fine. Kuro, thank you for the prime. Yeah, you would beat him if you had anti heal. Yeah, you. you. <laughs> I right, chat. Anti heal is. No, it's not. No, anti heal is not. <laughs> he procs face rush. Right, Jax is on the board, chat. We can win. <clears throat> anti heal moment. Yeah, I don't chat. Yeah, that's fine. Mods are doing their job. Mods are doing their job. It's fine, Chad. We're scaling. Azir scaling. I don't want to know what's coming out of the inventory, but... Azir scaling, chat. Fleet the whole shebang. Everything is on there. Can I explain why I don't buy it? Because I'm not going to be, you know, completing it. It's just a waste of money. Press on. I would find NTU. I'd want you one in, but I don't have NTU. Nobody told me to buy NTU. La Bomba. B. 
piggy. Zyra thought that was her cue to walk up, of course. Can't make that shit up. Well, I got solo kill twice. The thing is, I don't mind losing this game, even though my teammates are complete pigs. I don't... Like, like, try not to laugh challenge and we're looking at my Azir items, like... Zara pings me, I respect that. It's fine, I'll see you as magic resist. We actually need anti against that guy. If anybody flames my wall, I'm gonna see they were T1, bro. I know, chat. We have Azir, Jinx. We do scale. Azir have told us to not affect these games. What? No. Azir have told us no. And as if we trust. He's gonna kill my Jinx and say La Bomba. Made the game last more, late game we can win them. I love it. Have you tried anti heal though? No. The problem is they have too much gold for the moment. Very smart observation by Zyra. The 1 in 11 support. We can't. It's fine, chat. I'll buy some anti heal. It's on the way, okay? Don't worry, chat. I have all of you covered. Don't you worry. Don't talk about smart things, bruv. Okay. Baiting. I won't say who got baited, though. Right, Jax has two items. He's coming in hot. Free heal. Right, well, it was a good attempt by the bros. Now, as you can go for his next tank item. You see, some people say build offensive when ahead, and this Azir was like, I'm gonna build the most useless build when behind. But, I got destroyed. This Gragas gave me a humbling session in the top lane. I can't talk. I can't talk. I cannot speak. If I speak, I'm in trouble. We move on to the next game. We forget about this game together, collectively. This scribe is gonna take a shit long time, chat. I can't even uh, begin to imagine how long this client is going to take. Honestly, I know it's gonna take a, a, a shit long time. Yes, I will have a coaching session with Petu. I'm gonna need it. I, nobody gets it, by the way. Like, nobody gets it here. Absolutely not. We're four and three. That is. Ay, 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 ay. And, and the thing is, the two games, like, two out of three games that I've won, like, this game was the only, like, decent game. This game was a 14-minute sweat fest where my teammates kept inting and I had to 1v9. And this game as well, like, I was 19, 6, and 22. And even though my SRK score is this, trust me, this guy was a pig. Like, I have four wins, and out of those, two have been, like, 14-minute stretches. It's gonna take a long time. To climb on this account.
We're gonna try and push through it. Yeah, what else can I say? I'm gonna do my absolute best. It's just not gonna be easy. Let's watch Minecraft Skyblock to Untilt. Yo, Paradigo. Zelke123, just improve yourself, Aloy. If you play better, you will climb. Advice from High Elo. Wow, thank you, bro. Thank you. I wish to be High Elo one day. I don't want to see a single La Bomba. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to talk. If I, if I talk, I feel like I induce some uh, funny, funny, funny messages. Elas, is the Gragas? Is he, is he here? Hello, I was the Gragas, GG, GG's bro, you played well, you're a pig, but well played. I'm gonna go this setup, but this time I won't int. Okay, this time I, I'm gonna int less, I'm gonna int less. No, I don't mind chat being funny. Streamer is just a little frustrated. Streamer is backed into a corner. Streamer is gonna do his best now. Streamer is an inter. La Bomba, smiley face. What if I perma ban him and type La Bomba? I'm new to law. What's the first thing I need to do better? Uh, so my steps would be first learn all the abilities from champions, then play one role and one role only afterwards. And I would recommend to one trick because you kind of get a niche in the game. Then you learn everything about your champion, and then gradually from that, you can expand it to fundamentals. So, consistent things every game. No, we don't have to time people out. It's okay, bots. I I'm joking. Good luck versus Ergo. Absolutely eight matchup. Nice. That's just what I need. Hello, I was LZ. Your opinion on my build? Yeah, you need Jill time. That's not my only opinion, bro. Right, what playlist is gonna help me play better? I know. This one. This one never fails. All right, we're gonna smurf. It's the playlist that makes me smurf. I'm losing my mind in platinum. Whatever. It happens. Hello, it's Harold. Where were you? They have Morgana jungle. Interesting. Breaking Shenjamin is here. Bro, I like dad joke humor, but that one is just too far, man. Yo, Juan Cat Uzi, thank you for the prime. Been waiting this series with Shen. Will be tough in the lower elos, but keep up because it is really great content smile. Thank, thank you for the prime, bro. I appreciate it. Hi, I was the inner turret last game. I had so much fun. Yo, Karo. Goes without saying that I add skill vein, so the more safe we play, the better. Goes without saying! Santa player's talking. Sorry, focus. <clears throat> I'm gonna place my blade here, so it's aggressive. Alright, I'm gonna just look for priority because I can. I don't see my opponent. He's playing Cole. 
Cole actually heals Urgot. There's an interaction where Cole, it heals you for 3 health per hit, but his W counts as hit, so if it's like his W and he reels on you, he heals for every hit 3 health, so that's one trick you can do with Urgot. But this Urgot plays passive, like he's playing behind his minions, so I'm able to farm for free kind of here. Look, he's walking away from me. He's scared of me. Urgot is way stronger than me, but not when I hit my level 2, and now he's walking up. Big mistake, buddy. You don't win a trade on level 2. And I like trading because... Well, that was still a good trade for him, honestly. Level 1 Urgot. Well, imagine he did that when he was like level 1 against level 1. Anyways. I need level 3. Two melees and I can Ian. Hello, boss. Good to see you. Yo. Good to see you, Fuzzy. Thank you for the 12. Our wills align. Good poke. Slow push this wave, hard push next. Do a 4 wave crash. Thank you so much for the 12, man. Thank you for the tier 1. Good to see you, brother. Use this potion, too. It's level... I'm gonna push in this wave, I think. This guy could be auto-filled with the waves playing. I could honorably try and dive him. Do we try it, chat? Do I try it? Do I be the biggest giga chat? I wanna try it. Why? Just why? Just why? Why do you guys stop me? This guy should not push the wave. This guy should just... <laughs> why? Just... Fourth wave crash, take the CS lead and recall, but no! You can't! You can't do that, can you? No, I can't. Surrender. And surrender. <sighs> it's okay, chat. It's okay. Well, he's pushing into me, so it's okay to move. Maybe buy more anti heal. <laughs> nah, chat, this was just cringe. This was just cringe gameplay by me. I just had a 4 wave crash. I'm playing like a pig now. Like, that has nothing to do with whatever that was. That was just pure cringe. I shouldn't play like that. Unless I have Flesh Ignite. I had TP even. I should just base TP and lane is good. I don't know what I'm doing. Kane hasn't recalled yet. I'm not sure about this. I'm gonna have to block his E. Nice. He's gonna have to flash. Okay, it's really good poke. I, we can't finish him off. He has flash. This is really good though. Now he can't lane. Wait, K is very near transformation? Damn. What is that Q predict? Wave's still frozen, nice. What's going on? What are they doing? This wave is pushing into me, I can just reset. Well, I just got two kills like that. I think Kade is his form. This wave will crash, but... I mean, do I just buy Tavis? I think I do. Yeah, I was just my Tabis. I'm the best Shen TP Tabis. Full skill max combo. What a weird game. Strange run. Does he actually have his form? I guess not. I'm gonna get the XP at least. Alright, level 6. Let's not grief anymore from this point. Let chat. Let's just play it clean. Let's just play it out clean and carry this game. I didn't have to hit that. 
Morgana's back to mid. Would both suck. He's running out of mana though. Also, I have priority to the plant in the river, so if we trade right now, it's super worth it for me because I can get access to the plant first. I'm fine with these trades, even though they're not looking too good. Like I said, I get access to the plant first. I should slow push this, I, I can't push this in, t in time. Nice. He's in dive range again, but I remember what happened last time. Understood. Where's my ignite? Why is Aloys playing with TP? I'm gonna play with ignite. I'm gonna play with ignite every game. I CBA with TP. Also, if I had adaptive instead of double heal, I would kill him too. I'm playing with double heal as well. My runes here. Ay, 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 ay. I'm gonna try to rush this item. I have ult. That was some weird ass movement. He's Tabby's now too. I gotta play around his bone plating first, shut. He's level 8 with a beggar, me and wave, so there's no point to fight him. Unlucky. All the means I grow on him. This guy is farming really poorly. Well, uh, I would say what guy? I feel like this Urgo doesn't really know how to play, and that is just why I'm somewhat doing okay, genuinely. Like some Shen games I'm playing really well and other games are just playing really shit. This game I'm just better at last hitting, so I'm winning. That's literally it. I'm just better at last hitting than this guy is, so I have a lead. But I do always say that that is your foundation, right? As a top laner, so... Proof of concept. Get us behind. Wait, that doesn't help. Yeah, the shield doesn't help when the ult is already planted in their ass. That was stupid. This makes me want to leave the game. <laughs> That's just what I want to hear. This makes me want to leave the game. One minor inconvenience. 3, 2 and 3 Jenna. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of missing my Hydra.
My kid only has 50 CS and only assist. He needs this kill. You guys know who a good coach is? I didn't try to steal it. That guy is good. I think I wanted to give it. He's 007. This guy's no flesh. Oh, play ball. I get another uh, thingy. Lower, thank you for the T1, brother. I appreciate it. Strange game. That's some good damage, because I dragged my blade through him, right? Alright chat, if you drag your blade through your opponent, you do that damage. Alright. I need to just E into him and then Q, by the way, and then W insta. Oh, alright. I can't Q before the fight with the champion. I have to insta Q, then W. Man, I'm losing so many last hits. It's just crazy. At least I get the cannons though. That's just a random vein in my lane. Get slowed, piggy. I'm so tanky. I want Kane to get a kill. Kidding. No. Nope. Zero zero nine, baby. <laughs> if I'm like Kane, I'm not that happy. But I'm not that Kane. I'm Shen this game. Nice. Do I coach on stream? Nice. Is this item this item feels pretty good? Like I feel so durable. It's also because enemy team is pretty weak though. The setup that I have right now does scale way better, right? The double HP scaling, stuff like that. Um, if anybody flames my no, I give it to you one. Appreciate it, brother. Sentimentals. Tomorrow and we'll hunt. upload the first, or I'll upload the first video on YouTube of me reacting, or basically studying a vote of the ones that you guys can send in Discord, and I will need feedback on it. And then depending on how that goes, we can maybe try to do some on stream as well. I want to check my damage, but I need. E into Q, so E, Q, so it goes through him and then W. He has a hole breaker. Now my Q is behind him, right? So I could try and Q him again. You always need to drag your blood through your opponent's chat, keep that in mind. Okay, drag it through him. But he knows. So now the blade's behind him again, and if he walks forward, I can Q him again. Oh, there's a Kai'Sa. Wait, it still landed. I had to prioritize the W on that guy first, so... They're all auto attacks, right? So, hell yeah, nice. W for that guy, and then the chilling. Good. Another stack. I just only need I... vein. I need a vein. I need vein. I entered that for sure. Did 
There's a TP behind. Two. Okay, I got my last stack though. If I just bait them to go for me, my team can maybe live. TP in, or ult in 8, 7. Uh, they're all dead. I did double TP. Kaiser, yeah, staying. It's just double recurve. I mean, this game is pretty much over. Everybody in my team is fed besides the cane. If I E I just auto attack her, I was, might be able to slow her enough to still gap close. Her E is on cooldown now. She does no damage. We're playing in Platinum and War, man. We're kind of struggling on the Shen account, I'm gonna be honest. This is probably gonna be one of the toughest climbs we've done. Like an actual challenge. It's so not my play style to be a facilitator. I like to carry games, not facilitate my teammates to carry me. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing TP, by the way. I'm gonna play Knight again. Goodbye, chat. Random impaler in my ass. Unlucky. Rrr, sucks. Is this game finally gotten a kill? No, Kane is still not getting a kill. Oh. GG. Yo, Petu, he is here. Salute, boss. Pet to save me, this champion is so shit to climb with, man. We'll do coaching. Let's go. Not now, though, but... Edgy Dude, I'm gonna play Ignite every game. I've tried TP now, I've tried Ignite, I don't like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Ignite every game. Until we're a bit higher elo. I, I can't... I can't... Bro, I'm 4 and 3, I've never had that. How you doing, boss? What is the build you would recommend? Give me, like, the, um... How'd you call it? The foundation. On how to start climbing. What should be the build? I've tried Ingenious Hunter every game. I've tried uh, Titanic into Sundered Sky Eclipse. I need to see how to control you from there. Nice. This guy's no flush, I believe. Nice. I keep dragging my blade through him right to get the extra damage. Nice. Oh, that was good. Felix, they're getting pet too. Need to jump on Discord, I'm gonna get you the info. Okay, sounds good, boss. That will do that way. No. Oh, wait, that guy just died to Herald only, or what? Kane okay, finally gets a second kill. We might be able to just end with this. I think I don't- I shouldn't dive in here, I should just allow my Senna to play here by being like a bodyguard for her. Just bodyguard to Senna. They can't really do anything. Oh, sit. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> no, a queen died. Okay, all good though. Shen is really good at peeling, right? I finally have somebody to play for though, so it makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. I actually have a carry to play for. Jenna, Shen with the Senna. <laughs> Something from nightmares. Oh! Wait, my W. Ah! Ah! I spammed, panicked my W. Almost died.
Okay, nice. This was a better game, besides the first death. This was a better game. I had a team! I had a team! It was playable! I'm getting hungry too. Yes, I'll do mass I'll do NASA's eventually, boss. I'll do NASA's eventually. Okay, wait, give me a second, chat. Oh, Snoop no. got even a five, bro. Give me one second, chat. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, I'll be there in a second. <clears throat> we will give it to Kane, because he was so nice. There was a Kane with 12 assists, and he did not complain. Snoop got, thank you so much for the five to me and the bros, bro. Any champ you're looking forward to do the climb with? Gangplank and Jace. Um, okay, give me a second. All right, chat, we're going to get coached by the one and only. We're not going to do the coaching right now with Petu, but he's going to give us a foundation on how to start climbing with Shen because, yeah, we're struggling a little bit. So we're going to get Mr. Petu on dial to save us from this dire position that we currently have found ourselves in. Yo. Yo. How's it going? Hey, it's going good. Been spamming solo queue today. I I finally figured out the build after some testing. Okay, are you like playing jungle? Because I, I the recent video I saw of you were actually playing jungle against Brooks. Are you playing top lane? Jung now? Jungle was a mistake. Oh, jungle okay. was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> it it only took me forty games of jungle Shen to realize that it's not good. <laughs> yeah, I mean in theory it doesn't sound super optimal, but. Um... Yeah, I'm struggling on, on your champion. So what I've tried thus mm -hmm. far is going Grasp and um, Domination, of course, and I'd go Ingenious. Yeah. And I've tried going Titanic Rush into Sundered Sky Eclipse mm -hmm. and then Unending Despair and Situational Last Item. And I've tried mm -hmm. that with Flesh Ignite. I've tried that with Flesh TP. Hello, and then when I go Flesh Ignite, I've also tried to go D-Blade and go G -G Double Adaptive Boss. or One Adaptive. Mm -hmm. And now with TP, I go double health scaling. And I kind of lost on what to yeah. what to go for. Because I feel... So, oh, yeah, sorry. You go. Yeah. So I think for the minor runes, there's like lots of possibilities. Like, I think it's more of a preference thing. Uh, like, you could go double adaptive. You could go attack speed, adaptive health. You could do go double scaling health. I would just pick one and go with that. I think, I think scaling health and uh, like attack speed, adaptive is pretty flexible. Uh, that's pretty good. But for the like actual runes, I, I, I think Grasp, Shield Bash, Second Wind, and Revitalize is better than Overgrowth. I don't know which you've been running. Yeah, I, I've run Revitalize. I did, first yeah. I did Overgrowth, yeah. but I go Revitalize every game now, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just better because your old shields will become much stronger. Like with, with Overgrowth, it just sometimes the old shields won't be enough to save the target. Oh, um, I, I was thinking about yeah. my own healing, not my old shit, but I guess like my mindset kind of yeah, shifted. Yeah, if you think about well. like what wins the game, it's it's stuff like that that wins the game. Yeah, yeah. So then cheap shot for sure, and I ultimate hunter is just it's just the best. Like I tried a lot of ingenious hunter builds, but for consistency in like winning solo queue games, ultimate hunter is by far the best. Okay, no more ingenious. Yep. I mean, you could go for it if you if you want to goof around and get some plays. But if you like really try hard to try to win games, then Ultimate Hunter is just better. Yeah. Um, it's just because your cool uh, cooldown on that ability is just so long, and reducing it by you know, uh, twenty five percent or something is crazy. No, that, that's one hundred percent true. It's yeah. just like my mindset has to shift, right? Because for me, I. I always refrain from being like a facilitator or a mm, person yeah. to kind of carry my team. So. Like right now, that's also my trouble in like the in like this MMO where I'm playing it, right? If I don't have yeah. somebody to actually facilitate, I yeah. it's 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 hard to find a balance with that. But then yeah, yeah I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So then on that, what build would you recommend? Because that I think is the hardest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like this is I, I'm pretty certain of this. Okay. So if if enemy is melee and you're 
trading a lot. I would build Bummy Cinder first and just sit on it. Uh, it's partly due to the wave clear, also due to keeping your grasp up all the time. Uh, and then it's just good damage. And then you always go Titanic first item. I'm pretty sold on this because I've tried a lot of different builds. And the thing is that it just suffers that you can't make plays if you can't clear the wave fast. Like you want to see ultimate situations all the time. And then if you see, okay, I'm going to need to ult in five seconds, you want to be able to clear the wave then. Uh, and if you if you don't have that ability, I think it just holds you back. So I really like going Titanic harder first. Some people would say that, you know, you could go Icebore first into Titanic, but then you can't go Sterak second item, which I think is best second item by far. Like Sterak gauge is, it's, it's the only kind of item that allows you to team fight correctly, I think. Interesting. It's, it, yeah, it like if if you try it, you will notice it's 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 so crazy. Like just a second item. So it's a more damage oriented build, right? If you go Titanic Sterox, because you can watch. Yeah, I don't know. If that, I mean, it's good damage because of the AD. But honestly, like if I had to pick something that is like if you just want the most effective health in team fights while remaining useful, I think Sterox is your go-to item. Also, the good thing about this is that you don't need to choose which resistance you're or, like itemizing for. So you just go health. And then you can choose, you know, boots if you if there's heavy AD or heavy AP. But uh, I think Titanic into Sterax and mixing in bummies if enemies have melee champions, that's like really good. Makes sense. So wait, one question I have, because you said yeah. against melee champions that you skirmish a lot, you would go grass. So like Riven, for example, oh sorry, you would go Bami Cinder. So yeah, Riven, you, you would go Riven, against Riven, for example, you'd go Bami Cinder. Yeah, because the thing is that if you rush Titanic components, you are using a lot of gold for AD, and then when you go to level 6 with Riven, uh, she can burst you down in like one rotation. But if you go Bummies, you have like 50 or, or, or like 100 HP more than if you went Titanic components, and then you don't get killed by her combo. So I think often in those kinds of matchups, Bummies in there just because it's pure health, uh, it's actually like more survivability. Um, and also, this is not an exact science, but it just feels better to me. Yeah, that makes sense. And then against, like, let's say some ranged champions, would you still consider Bami just for the wave clear, or you just rush Titanic full like that? I, I would rush Titanic because I'm not usually trading wave system uh, that much. And also, if you want to try it, uh, if it's like a matchup where you literally don't get value out of grasp, I actually like going Aftershock as well. Interesting. Um, it's it's not, like honestly i would like for there to be a better alternative but like if you look at your grasp numbers after you played let's say versus twisted fate top lane the grasp has dealt something like 200 damage in like 50 minutes yeah so yeah it, you can't really do anything i mean i yeah. would maybe see spellbook then until spellbook but you want the domination tree with resolve right so it's really hard yeah to get yeah so there. so the thing is that resolve tree has three good runes like yeah. three god runes for shen uh i would honestly like I would go, Face Rush is my personal favorite, but the thing is that then you lose out on either Resolve or Domination, and both are important. Also, also uh, you can go Taste of Blood if it's range matchup, because essentially how you think about it is that versus melees, Cheap Shot has a 4 second cooldown, and Taste of Blood has 20 second cooldown. But versus range champions, both of them have like a 20 second cooldown, because you're not attacking them constantly with Cheap Shot. Yeah, so then. Yeah, so then Taste of Blood is better because you're more opting for survivability. Okay. Uh, this gives me already structure and kind of just gives me confidence heading yeah. into games now because I know what I should be building. Like, yeah, trust me, Sterax, like, it took me, like, I don't know, 50, 60 games to figure out, but Sterax is so broken. Like, it's it's going to change the way you play the fights. Like, you will so many times, you, like, revitalize increases the Sterax shield by 10%, oh. and you will get, like, Every time, like 1,500 shell, uh, health shield, and the enemies, they never expect it. So it's like, I, I think it's the biggest 1v9 build you can go on, Shen, honestly. Okay. And what do you go after Sterax? You just go, like, more uh, tank? Or do you actually consider the Sundered Sky or, like, Eclipse uh, type of items? Honestly, the demons take over. Like, at that point, it's, uh, it's like, sometimes I go Terminus, sometimes I go... Uh, Terminus. I go Moonstone, sometimes I go Locket. Like, at that point, it's... Um, Russian it's Roulette. We, okay. We'll yeah, just Russian do Roulette. But I honestly, see. like, I, I think, like, support items like Locket... I don't know. Okay, it's, maybe it's for higher elo. Like, 
maybe when you're climbing to master, I would I would go maybe a resistance item at that point. Like uh, honestly, Dead Man's played Force of Nature, uh, probably best things you can go at that point. Okay, because, so also the movement speed yeah, items. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I really think it's good. Um, okay, I I have one more question. Oh yeah, actually yeah. for the build path for Titanic. So I feel like the Thunder item as a component just kind of feels bad to sit on. Like, would you go double longsword? ruby crystal or actually buy the thunder component because i feel like just finishing it, it doesn't really give you any benefits i know what you mean but if you look at it mathematically thunder still gives you more stats than going uh, double longsword uh ruby crystal uh because it's like stat efficient wise it's like i think it's 109 percent or something so i'm i'm building from thunder and usually i i don't like to build tiamat also like because it doesn't have that many stats and the AD is like slightly wasted yeah, on you since you don't have AD scalings. Uh, and if you go bummies before Titanic, then you're all good to go on wave clear until then. So I, I usually go like bummies into uh, tunneler into ruby crystal and then. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But then into ranged, would you consider rushing Tiamat just for the wave clear and to have some presence? Or would you still go Tundler into? I, I hate it. I, I don't trust the Amat. Like it's it makes you so weak. Um, just because you don't get that HP, and you have to remember that Shen scales well with HP, like from E, e damage and passive shield ultimate. Okay. Uh, it it's it's gonna feel like slower tempo because you don't have any wave clear until you complete the item. But uh, I think it's the right call still. Okay, this gives me full structure to head into the games with confidence now, which is what I really needed. Because I'm yeah. trying to cook every game. So I'll try yeah. the Titanic Sterox and see how that goes. And yeah, Titanic Sterox and then go Force of Nature or Dead Mass, depending on damage. That's, that's I think, best build for you right now. Perfect. And then also, just so everybody knows, we will do a coaching session with like live games, but I first want to climb a bit more so the games are yeah. more competitive, and then we'll do a full live session with, yeah. uh, with Mr. Yeah. Petu. And then you also have a little bit of warm-up with the Shen mechanics. So. Yes. All right, bro. <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> Thank you so much, just... <laughs> for coming by, giving the structure being legend. I mean, I said it to chat earlier as well, but I haven't never really gotten the chance to thank you, but I just remember when I started doing content creation, you were always rating me, giving me shout outs, helping me so much. So again, I just, I'm super grateful for you. You're an awesome content creator and thank you so much to just be here and give me the oh, structure. You're, you're too nice. No, I, but it was honestly, it was just like talent. I mean, it was just talent, recognizing talent. I think like I, I saw your stream, I'm like, okay, this guy's, by far best top lane coach right now. He's only like, you know, at that point you were like 100 viewers or something. But it, it was clear to me that you are way better than most top lane players. So, thank you, man. With your back nod. Yeah. <laughs> You're the GOAT. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Yo, enjoy your evening, man. Thank you so much once again. See ya. Bye See ya. Bye. Uh, Petu's such an amazing content creator, man. Absolutely love that guy. Like, there is, there is just no way you can hate on that guy. Genuinely impossible. If you guys don't know who Expetto is, you should, right? Especially because we are playing Shen right now, but he is the inventor of Shen, basically. He's been putting out Shen content, absolutely amazing content. Uh, he streams, not too regularly, but he's very consistent on YouTube content. Um, go check him out. Like, you will not... Um, you would miss out if you don't check him out. That's the best way to describe it. Well, at least now we know what setup to run. So we're gonna stop being a piggy trying to get our ingenious hunter stacks, but we're gonna go for uh, ultimate hunter. And, ah, oh, wait, I should have maybe asked about ignite to teleport, but, okay, that's maybe the only thing I didn't ask, ignite teleport. But I actually just think that it's better to stick with ignite when I'm playing this and more. I'm not gonna switch this around anymore. I think this is gonna be the standard room page. Pretty much every game for the time being. So Ultimate Hunter, Cheap Shot. We could switch this to Taste of Blood if we play against range. I'm going to go Attack Speed, Adaptive, Scaling Health because it's just the most consistent. So we get a bad edge hooks. I like that. Ignite plus TP. Trust, bro. That's a cooking. But then I can't do the Flash Taunt. Ignite. Okay, whatever. I trust it. Ignite TP. I won't second guess it. All right. I like it, actually. I like it, because then I get best of both worlds, and I'm not going to be trigger heavy on the flesh taunt anyways. GG. Is it toxic to think all setup players need to be shot? Depends if it's in-game or IRL. It's two-faced, alright, <laughs> do stick with it. 
at Alois now banning a platinum. Bro, I'm not playing against another Aatrox. Bro, that guy was like 20 CS down and he just... I can't look for a short trade and I can't look for an all-in. Genuinely one of the most obnoxious matchups I've played, playing Shannon to Aatrox. Like, that, that feels so unplayable. Actually, horrific. Horror matchup. If you ult right now, you don't need to E-Flash usually. That's true. It's probably the Morgana jungle again, considering he badly sin. Why not coach now? Because he's in chat anyways. He did just coach me a bit on the foundation in terms of setup, like the runes, the build, and uh, the summoners, which is also so important to know if you're trying to pick up a new champion. Um, maybe the most important thing. The reason we don't do coaching right now is because I'm playing in Platinum Elmar, which is of course easy for me, right? <laughs> Although we're losing most of our games, but... We're gonna do live coaching once we're a little bit higher elo, once I have a little bit more experience and just a feeling on how to play Shen, so the coaching makes sense. So we'll for sure do a coaching session this week, but not right now. I think it'd be a little bit senseless. And my 70v, so, sorry Felix, could you send it one more time? I didn't see it. Also, uh, feels good Darius. Sorry, I was in a call, so I couldn't respond. I hope you're still here. Thank you so much for your prime for two months, man. I hope you're still here. Kill matchup should be relatively easy. I love this song so much. What is this even? Nah, whatever. I am too old for memes like this, bro. Dewitt is added. Dewitt has been added. Yo, Tar, my man! <laughs> what are you doing? Shh. Say the forbidden word? Four manners. Wait, what's the forbidden word? Okay, but the thing is, even though it's such different gameplay for me to play Shen, right? It is motivating in another way, because it's actually gonna challenge me. Like, if I've already kind of know a champion... Well, for example, I thought Yorick would be a challenge. Like, I genuinely thought Yorick would be a challenge, because I never played the champion before, but... You can get so many resources on Yorick and just carry through side lane. Shen doesn't have the same luxury. You have to be more creative. Especially when you play a lower MMR. <laughs> Forbidden word starts with anti and finishes with heal. Yeah, this is... I'm excited for this game. I think it was pretty good against that draft though. Because it's hard for them to deal consistent damage to me. Unless I got hit with my like a charm or Morgana Q. But this should be pretty easy. Grievous wounds, that's the forbidden word. Alright. Psy Ops Kill, he's playing PTA Flash TP. Should be pretty easy for the boys here. What is this song? I got you, bro. It's Never Again by Breaking Benjamin. Here's the playlist. Song starts at minute 24. On that note, let's play it again. Best song, right now. I am the type of guy that when he finds a new song, I'm gonna spam listen to it until I find it boring. But this song has been surviving for two weeks, which is a rare one. Like, it's pretty rare. I listen to it quite a lot, man. But it's been surviving. Alice, who is better blind pick? Nor or Cassante? Uh, Cassante, for sure. He's just one of the best neutralized in top lane. You forgot this is a blood because of ranged? Well, Kill is actually a melee champion in the early game, so with that reasoning I went for a uh, um, cheap shot. And I kind of want to make kills before level 6 in a matchup like this, which my champion can do. Shen is one of the strongest early game champions, I always say this, right? Especially if you are able to jack your blade through your opponent to level 2, like you can one shot people almost. Want another banger for the next 2 weeks? Sure. Kesante is pretty shit since 14.4. Well, one would hope so after the amount of times the champion has been broken. Or the amount of... Or the length... Whatever, I can't speak. Any bet if you don't hit Masters MMR? <laughs> so, like, I'd give in? I'd give 100 subs. It's out of my mouth now, I can't take it back. Let's see if I can find a level 1 trade with this guy. I 
I'm fine with that trade. I have second wind D shoot. Wow, she actually gets a lot of movement speed. That surprises me. I'm gonna place my blade aggressive. And I'll just send away. See if she wards. No ward. She has D blade, I have D shoot, and I have second wind, so I will out sustain her. She can see this angle, right? I'm pretty sure she. No, she can't. I'm gonna wait for this means to get a little bit lower HP and then see if I can punish her. She is PTA D Blade kill, but no lethal temple, so I'm fine. I'm gonna try and zone her from EXP here. So now means are low enough. So she has like to make a choice now. Beautiful, she loses the XP. She they walk forward, she doesn't really lose the XP. I think she lost XP of one me in, but with this means walking up, it's gonna make the me wave push towards me right now because her means arrive faster. So if I only lasted at latest frames, I believe. This wave will push to me right now. Last at latest frames as possible. She hit level 2, so she didn't miss any XP. But my Q goes through her there. Well, I didn't mean to hit that. My attack speed was just too fast. I tried to ask click. Her next wave rise faster, right? So that means she's gonna have more means here. I missed the E, but the poke is still good. And she has no ward now. I gotta be a little bit aware of a level 3 K gank though, because the game players very often like Raptors, Golems, Rep buff, or Raptors, Rep buff, Golems, gank top, but let's see. If I do one more trade like that, she's also on my dive range. Do I just put two points in Q? I think I do. Remember, everybody walks up for the cannon me, and nobody messes with the cannon me and being missed, so. That's always your timer to go. Getting low chat. Mm. I mean, one it is not enough to put her in dive range. I think I should slow push this wave as well and allow this next wave to walk up and then crash that wave. We probably get a recall. I wonder if I break my blade through her and slow her, if my E can land after that as well, if the slow is enough. Not sure. No. She's gonna hit level 4 from this wave as well. She needs 2 minutes and 2 casters. She know one cast that she hits level two here or level four here. Cause she's missed no XP. Any mean she hits level four. Some weird fifth wave crash here. Alright. That mean gets a level four, right? Yeah. So she missed zero XP. I'm just gonna ward here and I do this in advance because we'll kill us two options. She could insta recall or try to hard push next wave and then she has to Um What's it called? I don't have to TP here, so kill yeah. either can recall or try to push this wave, but after pushing this wave, kill us a recall, right? So I put this watcher in advance to see if she's going to recall. Alright, go with Lionheart, Bird Terror. I'm gonna try it. Let's see, let's see if you're cooking or not. If you're cooking, and it's actually an amazing song, I'll be so happy. Let's see. There is no I lost three melees here, but it's alright. And uh, we rush uh, Titanic here, right? Like, we don't need Bami Cinder in this matchup because we're not training that much now. Might be too dark for me. Not sure yet. Depends on the vocals, I guess. I hope he's not gonna, like, growl. Okay, sounds decent. Just the pressure there is enough. She is level 6 on this wave if she gets all the XP, so I want to zone her a little bit from the XP. I'm not sure, this is this is not for me, the vocals. It's too much growling. Alright, she's just recalling now, for sure. Will it get darker, Sedge? Okay, that's not for me. Good try, just not for me. I like Breaking Benjamin because it's like, I mean, he growls a little bit. Not my favorite parts, but the rest is like really chill. Alright, she has no potions, neither do I, but she has no TP anymore either. She's gonna hit very close to level 6 here though. Okay, I gotta be careful. Actually, does that kill me? I might be dead. Wow, she get closed. I should have ignited. Branch. Fucking shit, man. Woods. 
I mean, surely brand kills, I get assist, right? Nice. That's why I waited with buying items. Okay, worth. I, I, I mean, I should have ignited. I knew she was close to sick, it was just too greedy. It was just too greedy. But the end result is good. I get my ultimate hunter stack before my first ultimate charge, which is amazing. Oh man. I don't miss. Uh, I missed that too. Okay. Mod's good. I have ult here. But it's very bad to ult here because the wave is slow pushing away from me. And kill could basically freeze three waves. So, like, if I ult here, it has to be a good play. I think my team can win without me. I don't think I want to ult the Alistar. Maybe I really should have, though. No. I'm happy I didn't ult. I would simply lose too much shit. Oh, that was a good sidestep by her. I suck. I just suck. I just suck. I just suck. I just suck. I shouldn't look for that. I should just crash the wave. Now it's double negative because I die and I... No, the wave is stopping away from me. Man, if I, just, if I just didn't play for kills this laning phase, I'm 15 CS up. I died twice, but like I killed myself twice. I killed literally kill, I killed myself twice. My bad though. Oh, uh, let's stop looking for solo kills. Let's facilitate. I gotta stop being a pig. It's hard though. I'm a professional pig. I saw that you could just outstep check her being level 7 to level 6 and having ignite, but... I mean, I missed my E my first Q through her, right? She's gonna have flash still. She's level 8 and she has ult again. Yeah, I don't know. My bad. I tried to ult. Wait. I think I could have lived if I had that a little bit faster. Do I buy Tabis? If I buy Tabis, I will greatly dislay this item. I think I shouldn't buy Tabis. She died on her turn, so well played by her. It was a nice all the window. Man, I'm just getting butchered by these platinum players, man. I'm just a pit. Oh. This could be a good timer for me. He's gonna give me two ultimate hunter stacks too. I should feel like I did something. Okay. Yeah, my wave is shit, but hey, now we have a win condition in the Twitch. Okay, hey. Omi. 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 Hey, I'm doing the typical Shen thing that they always do to me. Lose lane, TP bot, get a win condition. Don't look top wave, it's gonna give us severe depression. So just like, look away from this position. Just, just look here. This is good. This is good. Three ultimate hunter stacks, not too shabby. Help me! Can I mind control her to int? Let's 
she just stat checks me, bros. No, you don't have to do this. She thinks I've recalled. She's gonna go for the brand. Hello, piggy! <laughs> Sorry. Patience. Okay. Well, we did something, and we gave another kill to the brand. What a team player I am. That team player. Oh, we did something. Good job, Brent. Can't even push in the wave at the same. Oh. I got crushes wave. I cannot crush his wave. Time to recall. Grubs always give you 10 gold each, so I have enough. My bot lane died, so that sucks. From the shadows. I have a TP angle here, maybe. YOLO. I'm just gonna try it. Make Twitch the win condition chat. Bot lane carry. Hold like carry. I gotta go back to top lane, bro. Let's go. I'm going back to top lane. Oh, maybe we should have ulted mid. Am I going back to top lane, though? Quick travel. Quick travel. I baited them. We're in trouble, chat. Kits! I am in trouble. I suck. I suck! I actually suck! Like, I can't- I can't blame anything by myself. I need to stop looking for kills, but I just griefed it, and I have no fallback patterns. We pray that the investment we have made on the Twitch will carry us. In fact, I have done more than the kill. I have 6 kill participation. So, bot lane carries. Right? Yes, eh! Roblox player 90 has to do it this game. Chat all hope is on Roblox player 90. That's where we put the eggs. Okay, I'm a griefing pig and I need to rely on my teammates to carry the game for me because I've completely entered my lane. No shame. Well, next item is Terox. But at this point, nothing is gonna save me with this gameplay. It's really massive if we get this kill. That's massive. Although a 1 in 4 Shen can still always prove to be useful because I have so much utility. I think I can reach this. I have 10 seconds. Please don't disappear. I'm going to be severely upset. Please don't disappear from me. We're just in time. One second. Okay, bot lane can win. 
Chat, I put the switch at me. I put the switch at. Okay. I need something to give me confidence. I'm getting manhandled by some platinum players. He's taking my camps too. These players are too good. Maybe for once it can be good that I can rely on my team to carry me a shun. I have ult, I can join the fight easy. I'm gonna keep baiting them. There we go. That's a good bait. There we go. There we go. It's a three for one team fight. Worth in my books. Let's see if we can get this homie. I'm sure this guy is annoyed with my gameplay, but that's good. Oh, right, chat, we found a win condition. And it's not through winning lane. Contrast to how it usually goes in the stream. Lose lane to old bot without feeling like you're lo giving your opponent away back and win the game. This guy is actually in carry position now, yes? Should I even go Sterox? So expensive. What if I just go like this type of shit? Ah, oh, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow my calling. Press on. Wait, ah, oh, whatever. Oh, I don't have. Uh, save him! Save him! No! No! You had one job. Wait for my ult. Try, try to wait. They're just killing each other, for fun. And we're losing 2-2 now as well. Wait, my R. Uh, he's not allowed to make mistakes like that. As weird as it sounds, right? He's not allowed to make mistakes. Because he's our only win condition. She can't ult. I tried to ignite him, it was on the wrong button. We can do Nash. We have to do Nash. Oh no. He dies though. He doesn't die. Oh, we had Nash, everything to our disposal, but we chase for 1 HP Lucian. What is Moogie doing? Mugging. Mm. Moogie! I don't know, winnable. I have all stacks on ultimate hunter. I don't know, I'm just not gonna go silent ever. I'm legit just grouping and hoping we randomly win this game. It's such degenerate gameplay. I hate it. I 
I need somebody to help me kill this behemoth in top lane. Probably taking my camps. Yep. Too far, too often I found myself in a position of the kill, but I'm actually the champ piggy right now, having to call for backup at my tier 2 turret. They're on soul points, which is an issue. Wait, why is the guy that said suck it permanently banned? Why is he perma banned? For saying suck it? Shouldn't be a perma. Alright, we have to win this fight some... Oh. Twitch has no ult, else you'd pop off here. Wait, the Sterak shoot! Petu told me about this! Oh. Kill his bot. Enemies are giving us a chance here. We, we got a chance here. We've been gifted a chance, randomly. Oh, that W is... Uh... I mean, we're actually getting a chance, though. Why did Kane ult me? Oh, it probably was a misclick. And we won that fight without Twitch ult. I'm actually useful because I just have utility, right? We just gotta play for the next soul. We win that fight. We're in business. I, 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 I don't ever find myself in this spot. Hard losing my lane and like... Trying to just get my AD carry back in the game and carry that way. But it feels so weird being in this spot, man. Twitch is coming. I have Sterox. Uh Alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm better prepared tomorrow, because this is just disgusting. Yeah, no, I entered too much. I, ca I can't be upset. I entered too much. I entered way too much. I'm well aware. Don't worry about that. I'm not blaming anybody but myself this game. I've done some stuff to give us a win condition, but... The biggest reason we lose, probably. No, I'm not gonna cancel the climb. I like the challenge. It was an easy Olaf and Rick to master, but you had to go, Shen. You had to go, Shen. <laughs> Sounds familiar? She's full build. If we get to scale here, we can win. But Brent is got.
I missed five ta people with taunted. That's it. like kind of impressive in its own regard, right? But uh, whatever. Can't care this game. My bad. I griefed. And uh, that's that. Sorry, team. My bad. This one. Oh. Well, today was a humbling experience, to say the least. Um, I'm gonna do better tomorrow, because this was not it. This was simply not it. Um, yeah, that's that's that. My Twitch right, Roblox 2019 did his best. Um, I think they didn't fly me, because I still tried to really facilitate to bot lane and do my best there. But yeah, no, I grieve too much. We're 5 and 4. Roughest start we've had thus far in any challenge, so... Um, but that's the fun part, it's a challenge. Um, oh, there's a 70v emote? What is this? <laughs> Last time, chatter. Yes, we're gonna get coached by Petu. Alright, chat. Um, I am gonna go and grab dinner with one of my homies, and as a result of that, I'm locked in time. I would like to keep playing because I kind of hate to end it on this game but your know, anxiety i have made some plans so that is it for today tomorrow i'll do a long stream again and uh we're gonna go and have a much better preparation heading into tomorrow we know what to build we know what to set uh, our setup to take we just gotta learn to you know all in better uh, we're eating lamb shawarma as far as i know so that definitely sparked uh, something now chat if you guys haven't, make sure to check out the Discord and both YouTube channels. There is a main YouTube channel and a second YouTube channel. Second is for the VODs. The main is just the, uh, you know, the normal content. But I was, um, what was I saying? I am going to make a new series on the YouTube. So the first video of that will be tomorrow. And um, lastly, I have two courses. One for the lighting phase, one for the mid to late. Each course has one for vi preview video that you can check out. And they will basically help you structure your gameplay in a manner that will um, help you to prove on the short and long term. So if you haven't, highly recommend you check it out. Um, like I said, two free preview videos to watch. So why shouldn't you watch it? And then we'll be raiding a homie. It's either scenarios or spear shot. What are both of them up to? Scenarios hasn't been live for too long. Spear Shot is live for eight hours. So we're gonna go over to the bro scenarios. My absolute homie. Felix, thank you for the 100, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, raid scenarios chat. Scenarios is an educational jungle main. Makes absolutely amazing content. Very hardworking individual. Please go over to him, giving him a salute and a love from me and all the bros. I wish you all an absolutely amazing remainder of your day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for sitting through the first day of Shem with me, and I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Peace.